What up? This no be love. What up, boys? What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? <laughs> Welcome back to the Mob Jazz Podcast. What's it's good to be back. Brothers? Thanks for having me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you have it yourself. <laughs> 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 yeah, I just sounded like an interview there, mm. man. Welcome back. What up, what up? Have you guys been since the last time I saw you? <laughs> All of you are just asking questions, man. I've been good, you guys. You know, I can't wait until we're recording twice a week. Eh, why? But I can't wait. Because it's just weird to me not being in here. I, like every time we take this kind of gap, we, we haven't even taken a proper gap. It's just been like the regular gap we take. Eh? Yeah. But it just gets longer and longer, bro. Like yeah. by the time Pod Day comes back around, I'm like, oh man, it's Pod Day again. I want Pod Day to just be part of like the regular week. Like mm. I'm going to work. Yeah, so I can't wait for that time. Soon, hopefully. Nah, mm. that's it. Soon, 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 soon. Yeah, you guys, please like, subscribe, <laughs> follow. Can you guys follow us like on Twitter? Honestly. <laughs> The Twitter account that just opened has been sending me because the stuff that I've been posting on that account mm. is stuff I usually post on mine and get hella retweets <laughs> and hella <laughs> likes. <laughs> bro, we have 34 followers as of today. That's actually that an account. increment. <laughs> yeah, I... from, the, from Monday. <laughs> after, after, after our meeting on Monday, mm. I reposted that Twitter uh, page on my WhatsApp and I think it was like 12 on that day and then it went up to 34. So hmm. uh, now we need some constant content for that. You think, you think that will change it? I think we should yeah, of course. Like if there's like some engagement and what stuff. Content? What content? Content? Engage, bro, no, for no, example, like change. if we post like what we talk about on the board. Mm. That's like something that. I think would be really funny if uh, the Twitter page posted and then just the three of us started commenting on like let's do it. Like, let's well, do like, it. <laughs> Well, well, like, okay, well, one's laughing. We just have a conversation <laughs> under there. Let's do it. That's a plan. I'm going to stage it. He has three <laughs> likes. Guys, but like guys, 20 please do replies. it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'm about to tell you what we're talking about, bro. It's going to be like, ah, those guys are so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, how's everyone feeling, man? What kind of week are we having? Like, physically? Yeah. Bro, it's cold. Mentally, it has been a cold week. Bro, bro, now it's the wet season, man. It feels like we're getting back into season. And it's summer, bro. But like the, the rain is so sparse, bro. It's it's not like... Usually when it's rainy season, it rains like every day. And like some days it's like twice that day. But these days it kind of just like threatens to rain. Then it rains like once in the night. Or like... Okay, it's yesterday it rained. Raining. Yesterday it rained, but... Yeah. Maybe we've actually it rained the whole day, no, man. It's been raining. No, yeah. not the whole day. It started like at three. Okay, I don't know where you are, but nah, me, it me rained, it rained the, the whole day, day bro. It rained the whole day where I was. Even today it rained. And nah. Last night it was also rain. Did it rain today? Okay, the, oh. the thing is, it's not pouring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's not like thunderstorm season, but it's drizzly. But that's what I, that's what I, the I, I, entire day. Identify as rainy season. Those thunderstorms in the middle yeah, of the yeah, night. What? Nah, it's not crazy. Like it's not like floods and shit like mm. that. But it's definitely raining, bro. Nah, shout out the rain. We yeah, I'm not a, a big fan of the rain. Yeah, it's like Why? cloudy. Bro, it saps my energy, man. I think that I'm just a sun dude. I just like the sun. No. Oh, I don't like it when it rains because um, it becomes so muddy around here, bro. Around where, bro? Kampala, bro. All that dust turns to mud, bro. Where? Where? You guys, where you stay is clean. Yeah, there's no and mud. where you stay as well. I'm also scared. Where is it muddy? <laughs> if I'm complaining, <laughs> where do you guys stay, bro? I feel like it definitely gets muddy. It gets hella areas, muddy, bro. Like, the car gets muddy. Every mm. time I drive it out, like it's just like a muddy situation. That's not the one it's dusty. Ever since we started recording here, and I told you my office is also along this road. Mm. This place used to be notorious for floods. The floods would be wild, like cars would be getting submerged in those floods. Mm. I've been waiting for that to happen. Eh? Like in my mind, I feel like I have a game plan if it happens, but it just hasn't happened yet. What's the game plan? <laughs> <laughs> like drive our <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking, I was thinking, say drive around it and use the Lugogo route. But there are times when that car area there also floods that high. Have you guys seen it before? Like legends. Not like, at all. Legends no. game. You've never seen it flooding. Oh, I have, I have, I have. Yeah, I have. there's times when it also floods. When it's really, nah, really I've actually weird. seen that picture talking about flood, bro, one day. It was so bad, bro. But I had to drive through. But Which one? Uh, Lugogo or here? No, 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 just here. Yeah, here it gets, you know, here it gets so bad, bro. In my mind, growing up, I always think that there'll be like shit in that water. Like poo? Because the place smells so bad. It probably is, man. Yeah, I should be thinking, man, there must be shit in here. I think it definitely like mixes with like the sewer water. Mm. Yeah, because I don't think there's like too much separation. There's a sewer water even, bro. Like, I'm 
this is something that I've always wanted an explanation for. What exactly is sewage? Dirty water. Yeah, no, 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 that's water. <laughs> sewage is like what comes from the toilet. It's <laughs> yeah, like runoff. I think it's, I think yeah, sewage. Sewage has to be like stuff that has been flushed, right? Yeah, that's what I imagine yeah. sewage is. And it goes through pipes to treatment centers. Uh-huh. So when guys say that sewage is smelling it, why? Like, I think a pipe has burst. Ah, bro. A sewage pipe. Where? In the ground. Sometimes they burst and then like the sewage leaks and pours. Sometimes that water I think mm. is not a water pipe, it's a sewage pipe. So there's those different uh, idiosyncrasies depending on that. <laughs> depending <laughs> on the situation. Uh, okay. The voice. Uh, what about you, man? How are you? I mean, I'm calm, man. Same old. It has been a cold week, but um, there isn't much. I'm still feeling a bit weak from yesterday, man. For those who don't know, yesterday. <coughs> said for those who don't know. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yesterday, I went to visit a friend. Friend of the show. Yeah. Mm. She's mm. a friend of the show, to be fair. Yeah, she is yeah, a friend, of, a friend the of the show. And uh, yeah, it was making its own sass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 we went round, tired. <laughs> Uh, Which was some, uh, yeah. it's, it's not like that, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was, uh, just when I went back home late, mm. uh, today's recovery was mob, man. Had a but it, drink. Yeah. Yeah. But what yeah, did, it was. Uh, what did you gain? Hmm? How much do you remember? Everything. It wasn't hey. that bad. It wasn't that bad. It was, it was just, ah, man, I think it's been a while. It's been a while. When I told you guys I was off, I was off, bro. I think there was a time that I used to go out to like make memories, bro. And forget them. Nah, that's before I found out that I forget most of them. <laughs> bro. <Bruh. laughs> <laughs> like, man. Honestly, bro. Like, I saw someone posting today on Snap that posted, like, you know, they write on the chalkboard outside the bar. Someone had written, uh, the hangover only lasts a day, but the memories li- last a, life- a lifetime. And I was thinking, bro, what what which memories, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what memories? <laughs> Let me ask you guys, what do you prefer? Do you prefer to remember or to forget? I prefer to remember. I prefer to remember, bro. I prefer to forget. No, I, I think you're speaking of someone who doesn't forget. You're speaking of someone who doesn't forget, man. Uh, no, but you forget. forget. I forget. Sometimes. Yes. Not, not in sometimes, general, I'm saying like after like a mad night out. Sometimes. Stop doing forgettable shit, bro. Stop doing re- regrettable <laughs> things. <laughs> that you want to forget. My mind is like, I want to forget. Nah, I've been leaving those memories, bro, for the next time. Like, as a reminder of what not to do, bro. <laughs> like, I've never forgotten that Micah Hura night, bro. I had a... I know I was happy in the moment mm. while I was drunk. But the more that I meet people who I was with that night... Mm. Like the worst the story gets, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what you did? I was so irresponsible that night, bro. And what I thought that was the do? last time that I did it. But it turns out I also did it at the at the Kunle Gold concert. <laughs> and I don't remember, bro. I thought I was so oh, bro. Out that's that wild to me because everyone says the Ser- Serena venue. It's mm. kawaii, it's calm. You guys are going to chill. Then Logogo is where people Yeah, are I guess wild. Serena felt so safe, bro. So like, was was like, <laughs> the ground was soft. It was like literally a carpet on the ground, bro. That's what happened. Yeah, oh, it must be nice. Uh, anyway, listen. No, nah, but to ask a question, I definitely prefer to remember, bro. Definitely. Now, I, I thought to be in control. The worst experience is when people are coming and telling me stories of crazy things I did that I don't remember. Yeah. Yet me, I was going home thinking, oh, I survived. You know, I made it to the night. I behaved. You know, I'm a good boy. <laughs> you know, but for you, it's quite evident when you're going to forget. You know that. Is it? I guess to you With guys who are watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always like a movie. <laughs> I will not forget this one time, eh? We were at that rooftop, the rooftop terrace. Even you remember that day, you just don't remember what happened. But yo, this guy was like an actual movie. Uh, you know, just then the guy would run, like sprint away. Don't lie. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then you find him in that car, E.T. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I know I be, I get like up and about. I only get my steps in you guy when I'm meet, bro. I be <laughs> up and down. I, like getting me to sit down is like just like to get a breather, bro. To catch that's my breath. Had, like, <laughs> had like blankets. Like those like open mm. open air events. 
So you also, like you also quite mobile. I can be mobile. Mm-hmm. Hey, in fact, the way I come to both shoes. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you know I'm about to get. About to. <laughs> it's so mobile. The last, the last blankets we went for. Eh? That's one we were all together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bro, you were quite mobile. I was. No, I'm always a mobile. Mm. A mobile done. Well done to you, man. Yeah. Okay, what do you guys want to talk about today, man? Um, an up green topics. You guys have any light hearted topics before we get into my green stuff? I, I found something crazy out, bro. Uh-huh. I found out eh, that squirrels can't die, bro, no matter how high <laughs> they jump. Like, squirrels. they matter <laughs> the height of the building they jump from, they can't die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is the wildest Wait, beginning. How, how did you find out this? <laughs> <laughs> Who else, bro? TikTok, man. The guy basically said, did you know that squirrels don't take fall damage? You call it fall damage. Yeah, like video I was games. Like what? That's like the flying squirrels yeah. or any squirrels? Squirrels. In squirrels. General. Yeah. So this guy obviously was reacting, not reacting, but he like clipped someone else's video where they said that, and then he <laughs> went on to explain it. So apparently, there's this thing called terminal velocity. It's just it's a physics term. Mm. I guess it means the speed that your body gains while it's falling, mm. right? That's mm. like that was my understanding of it. So basically, this guy said that a squirrel's terminal velocity, like the fastest that it can go when it's falling, is twenty three miles per hour. Oh, damn, that's still fast though. Uh, but the gains was twenty three miles, three seconds into its fall, and for the rest of the fall, it stays at twenty three miles per hour. So it can handle twenty three miles yeah. as long as it's falling at twenty three miles per hour. For what if you grab the squirrel and? <laughs> <laughs> throw it. Will it? No, it will just reach time will will reach, faster. Yeah, you will in two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> like, what if you throw it faster than twenty three? <laughs> it's the faster. It will, will it slow down? <laughs> what if it that that speed, down? Yeah, that's good. The drag. Into the ground <laughs> from a height of two stories. <laughs> uh, yeah, but in nature, I guess. Nah, we do not condone any animal also, violence. Also, think about it. If a squirrel jumps out of a plane. Right, that's not a like. That's not something it has evolved to like expect. I'm sure squirrels fell out of trees or fall out of trees all the time, so they're kind of used to falling off tall things. So jumping off a building, you know, like, I went on to watch like 30 videos of squirrels jumping off buildings. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. They are more. <laughs> when they go play a video of a squirrel jumping off a building, <laughs> at this point, bro, it doesn't matter how tall the building is. You'll see guys recording it, and then it will jump when they're not expecting it to jump. And be like, oh my gosh, no. That thing will just <laughs> land and run. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that makes sense, because I saw some video recently of, this was basically a lady on a balcony, and she opened a drawer, and a big rat came out of the drawer and jumped off the balcony and fell, and made a loud smacking sound <laughs> on the road, and then just ran over to the yeah. next day. But, so I was thinking, but that thing has to at least have some internal bleeding. But after you say that, maybe it also has like a slower time and velocity, yeah. blah, 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 physics. Because right. I also saw cats. I've always known the cat thing over. Yeah. They are spying over. <coughs> uh, they don't take fall damage either? For them, they always land on their feet. No, that's what I know. That's what I know. Yeah, they'll always land on their feet. But they do. Those things are literally like liquid, bro. They, they take fall damage. They take fall damage. Yeah. Someone told me a story recently, I won't say who, of like, Oh, say who, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he threw it like they they threw a cat oh, off a balcony man. and it it broke its legs. Oh man! Yeah, they were terrible. they were children when they did it, and he said he oh. felt terrible for it. Like that was like his worst experience. So basically telling me his worst experience that he has done. Um, yeah, but that's like, a good dude. Man. But like cats take fall damage is the point I was trying mm. to. That's is it because of their How legs? Uh, Two stories. I mean, in like because yeah, yeah. like I'm looking at cats' legs and they're normal. They're like normal. A guy said the way their bodies are built. Like they're just built to withstand shit like that. But I was saying, if you if it fell off a plane, fell off. If it got out of a, a moving plane, let's say, it's not like built to fall from that high. So even if it's having velocity die and change, it will at least pass out, bro. Like it don't <laughs> breathe or something. It will pass out. <laughs> it will pass out and it will land badly on its head. Bro, but the thing is, animals actually do pass out. So I believe you. Yeah, definitely pass out. Like those possum no, no, things, you know them. Okay. How people say possums play dead. Yeah. Those things just close, man. You to fear like they just yeah, out. like they fear something they just close, they just pass out. Pa. Anyway, I guess that's the survival strategy. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I guess if a hungry animal found you and you <clears> fell down, 
would you not eat it now? But I guess animals don't actually eat dead animals. Some animals. Uh, many of them do, bro. Yeah, but I'm thinking like many of them do. My question is if it passes out and then you like touch its stomach, check if it has a pulse. <laughs> <laughs> you have a stethoscope. To open one eye like this. <laughs> and check if you have good. <laughs> yeah. But it passes out for a bit. Uh, like it yeah, but I, I get when it passes out, it gives off some smell. So guys are like, ah. But have you seen that they sleep hanging upside down on like with their possums? Tails, yeah, 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 yeah. With their tails carved down the tree. What show had a possum? Ice Age. Or cartoon. Oh, yeah, Ice that Age. Was, uh, those two were, were two possums. things. Yeah. yeah. Those two were lit. Shout yeah. out to possums. Yeah, that's my first topic, man. But it just blew my mind, you guy. Speaking of survival, I know we're supposed to bring this up later, but you guys need to watch Beast. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's all I can say, I've seen bro. The, what have I seen <coughs> about it? Obviously, no, it's Idris Elba. When they said Beast, I wasn't expecting that to be some game ranger shit, but I can see that that's kind of what it's about. I haven't watched any trailers. Yeah, just it's about like poaching and stuff like that. that looks like yeah. Oh, mm. okay. It's, 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 it's not like those movies you'd watch and be like, go, go and watch this movie, but it's a good movie. It's a good movie. They did well. Um, they were in South Africa. Mm. So again, they also tried to tap into that like African thing. But does he have an accent in it? No, no, no. He has his normal accent. Yeah, I'm He's like normal. Yeah, with an accent, I realize. At least it's American. The American accent he kills. The African one? The African ones I don't hear him. Even in Beast of No Nation. Ah, he killed that one. He killed one. that one, bro. He killed that one. He killed that one. But I like, didn't watch that one. Beast, Beast of, of No of Nation? Nation where was he, he should. from? He was a rebel leader, one from, from some fictional African country. That's my issue. When it's fictional, they're allowed to just do what they want. <laughs> nah. <laughs> why, isn't, why isn't that a fictional, like, European country movie? That's non-Slavic. Obviously, they make that Slavic as well. Yeah, I was about to say some Slavic <laughs> ones. <laughs> it sounds like some, actually Russian, like, Serbian accent. But one then he, like, an imaginary American Like, Bella West, yeah. something like that. Yeah, actually, or they or imaginary to. British countries. Where everyone has a, has a British accent or something. That's so many movies, <laughs> bro. So, so <laughs> some people can butcher their accent. But literally every fantasy movie have a British accent, whether it's good or bad. Anyway, which bro. one? Every fan like Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones. Like fant- as long as like fantasy genre, they always speak in a British accent. I guess hmm. that makes sense. But they always England always exists in those in the past. No, in those fantasy shows. Where was England in Lord of the Rings, bro? But I don't think it's. <coughs> I guess don't if they're the inspired, I guess the writer was English. Yeah. <laughs> 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 JR Tolkien. No, British but accent, I'm like, oh, it's a British guy. I think British. it's because. Ah, but now I've got I've gone into mob history. Why? Colon- colonization. Again. No, first two colonization, like way before even Britain existed. Uh-huh. They were Celtics, right? See, yeah, you've gone too far. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, what I was saying. We're talking about movies. Let's um, I've overgone, bro. I think nah. it's like movie shorthand. Like you hear a person speaking in a British accent, it's like old timey stuff. Like your brain just like mm. automatically goes to old. Those are old timey. How do you guys how they feel about, about movies? I, I feel like I've asked this before, but movies where the dialect is English and let's say a particular like a, a British accent or something, mm-hmm. but the characters and the setting is not English, so it's set in like. Let me just use the example I want to use. Yeah, because I was... So while, you watch, uh, while you watch Beast, I watched Prey. Mm-hmm. Have you guys watched it yet? No, I've seen the trailer and I really want to watch yeah, it. Yeah, so I watched Prey. Prey like Prey. Prey, prey, like, <coughs> like, prey like the Predator. Predator, yeah. predator yeah. Prey. Prey is set in like pre-colonial America. The trailer looks like... What's this thing? Apocalypto. Something uh-huh. like that. Yeah, but Ap- Apocalypto was like the Amazon, right? Yeah. yeah, but that's what the trailer looked like to me. Yeah, no, this one <coughs> is more... It's America, basically, bro. Mm. It's the ethnic... What are they called? The Native Red Indians. Americans. Native Americans. Mm. You can't call them that offensive, bro. Oh, damn. That, yeah. I, did, I, I, I didn't know that. Yeah. They're not That's Indian offensive. and they're not red. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so it's Native Americans, bro. So Native Americans didn't sound like modern-day Americans. But it was bothering me how American these guys' accents were. And I get it, obviously. It, it, it's maybe not worth the stress. But bro, this guy sounded so American, man. Wait, they're not making them talk like how look no. over the stars. <laughs> but those guys, <laughs> those guys, guys like the great bear, yeah. the spirit of the great bear. Those guys didn't even speak English, bro. 
They probably had their own like they have. They have. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a point of correction. They have, <laughs> like it just feels very lazy to me these days if something is set in a particular place, but it's not, I guess, written. Authentic. Yeah, it just makes it feel lamer to me. But, but <laughs> after watching the movie, I got it. This movie was clearly made by like an American American. Still a good movie though. For I the American it. market. Yeah, it was, I've it seen was that a it's quite, it's I know the Native Americans today probably have American accent, so they'll buy the tickets. Yeah, but they'll, they might feel aware about some of the things. But it was a good movie. I enjoyed it. Have I you watched um, The Revenant? Yeah. Did I think those ones actually had, like, they were speaking in the language, right? But where was it set? It was set in <coughs> America, but, like, back in those days of, like, when they used to do, like, the fat trade. Yeah, but him, he was white. Yeah. He was European. He, eh? But remember, he was, like, white, and he went for a war, and then he got, like, like shot in that side of yeah, the Native Americans. Yeah. Then they had to come back to oh, like America. I'll say this about Prey. The other guys, there's a scene where now it's not the Native Americans, there's like other guys who are there. It's clearly like colonialists. Mm. Or at least guys who are like the European. <coughs> For them, they weren't speaking English. They were speaking something else. Bro. I don't even know they spoke English. It was really interrupted by whatever, whatever their mother tongue was. Mm-hmm. So that was kind of cool, I guess. I shouldn't put too much, too much. Too For much me, that, what grinds my gears when it comes to movie accents is when they they try to do African accents, bro. That annoys me so much. That one really. I What's think the, the best they ever did was I think Black Panther. That's I even best. Black B- Black Panther. But not everyone me, in Black Panther did equally. Yeah. Annoyed yeah. me equally so good. much. Now, have you seen this new movie? That I, I I think I've spoken about this before. The one of the the homie warriors over in of North West Africa. A, that, it was a trailer, right? Yeah. For a series that's coming. It's I think it's a movie, bro. It has like very light days. I think it's like the main warrior. It has oh, that guy from Oh, the queen. Uh, about those uh, warrior queen. Yeah, something yeah, just yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Mm. But those accents. And it has a collection of very the big old black, star black cats, yes. bro. That's it has Daniel Boyega. Bullshit. But it's like that accent you expect, man. Like. They need it's to rework that accent. Ah, that accent, that not, accent is not for me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that accent is still so disrespectful, but it plays me what that like, of uh-huh, that they've stuck to it despite how many people have told them that, bro. Relax. Such Even a now, dude, like Daniel Boyega, bro. That, he, has a, he has an African accent in him. Like, he's African enough that if he needs to sound Nigerian, he will. But they will still make him talk like that. It's, no, they won't. For him, I guess he can. Welcome back, guys. We had an, an intruder. Hmm. Intruder in our, our private space. Um, yeah, what up, you guys? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just in this guy's thing of the hangover money last Sunday. <laughs> Which thing? That's not what I was talking about. Hey, okay. Guys, thanks for having me. Can you can you guys hear me? Nah, thank you mm. for coming, man. Invited. <laughs> <laughs> now that thanks, you're bro. here. <laughs> Partly invited. What up? Is voice still Possible. a voice? Wait, it has grown. Nah, he's still a voice. Hey, hey. Um, you know what? A lot of people know me, but I'm still a voice. <laughs> your, your timing is so funny, bro, because we're supposed to have another guest on and they canceled. Who? Uh, yeah. Oh, you can't yeah, say yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but, but I don't guess. So she canceled and yeah, man, we just didn't invite anyone else. She? Yeah, I almost actually called you and said, bro, you can come for this pod, but I was like, well, Yeah, but you never did it, bro. Thing. So I don't know. <laughs> a, a lot has been happening around you eh, of late <laughs> yeah. on social media. <laughs> a lot. Nigga, you guys had Trevor on. Now, what was that like? It's well, Trevor. Trevor. Been at Trevor on, bro. Yeah, yeah Trevor, but like yeah, you know. Trevor is not yeah. a guest anymore, man. But like, <laughs> is that you guys? I just like you know, we, call his, we call his pods, bro. Pods. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't even like put him in a, in a thumbnail anymore, bro. I'm so glad that he addressed that. Yeah, I've been, been so man? happy. I've been so okay, man. Mm. I've been grinding. Same with you guys. Of course. Been seeing you guys clips and mm. stuff. Shout mm. out. Should I should I say his name? Wendy. Shout out Wendy. <laughs> 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 but the clips, that stuff. I think the clips are the way to go, boys. As you mm. guys know. I can see that you think that, bro. <laughs> You've been <laughs> heavy on yours. I'm sorry, man. I did, can you mind me just looking here while I talk at you? <laughs> no, you have to look at me, bro. Bro, you can look <laughs> at the other side if you want. Bro, since you're here, because we're going to react to this either way, so I'm just going to play this thing that you dropped. When was this? On the weekend? You dropped this on the weekend? Like, uh, I think a I dating. Ca- I think I called the store. Ah, oh, <laughs> the other one. Yeah, ah. yeah. 
That's I mean, I'm, so glad, you that's, that's, I'm <laughs> so glad that you came. <laughs> <laughs> on we're Friday. Gonna, we're going to react to this without you. <laughs> uh, we could have said anything. With or without you. Okay. Um, right, let me play it. Why I dropped out of university at age 19 in Africa. At the time, I had a full scholarship studying electrical engineering in the best university in Uganda because that was my... Let's just pause it there because... Can we just keep quiet? Yeah, huh? no, I don't know if I don't know if it was the best university. Yeah, yeah. go relax. I knew you were going to judge. <laughs> <laughs> what's the best... You, been, what's bro, the best university? The no, that, that guy didn't go to that university. First leave him, first leave him. First leave him. <laughs> yeah, that... <laughs> How is that the best university in Uganda, bro? I feel that like is, it has a largest. It has a. Okay. I think it's like a, <laughs> it's a few things that you can say. The uh, alumni. Obviously, just because of its age. Boa, boa with alumni. No, but I think it has the largest courses, number of courses. Research, I think it has. Produced? Uh, research produced. Out of the university? That's, that's it has like the most projects. Uh, it's the oldest. But so what, it, there's no competition. How they rank universities is it's not that simple. Get Some universities are ranked higher because of certain schools. Now, for MOOC, it's definitely. Was I supposed to say the university's name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah it's fine. Sir. For MOOC, it's definitely like the medical school mm. that makes it probably the third or fourth in Africa. Mm. But you'll find like the other schools are easy. And that's the same thing with like, say, Ivy League universities um, or even the ones in the UK. What's that group called again? I don't know. The Ivy League. Oh, the of Oxford the ones, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, those ones. So you'll find like. Manchester is probably the best when it comes to like low things. Mm. So it's ranked highly because of that. So it's not the entire university, it's particular ranking? schools. Who's ranking? I guess we're rank. <sighs> it's not one. There's guy, an Ivy League, I guess. But there's so. like there's, there's different rank. people that rank, different groups of people, organizations. And, and then also the and produce lists. And also the difficulty <coughs> of entry is also a thing that they rank on. Okay. This one accepts six point nine percent. It's not difficult. It's, yeah, it's okay. not more difficult to enter but than that guy's like university, that bro. More difficult to enter than others. Uh, true. But MOOC is true, actually true. really difficult to enter, man. Not like those guys. Like like Ivy League guys. No, no you like guys. You see you. Like you, see you. Mm. I disagree. I think it might be easier. I think yeah. MOOC is yeah yeah. yeah it's like mostly like can you afford? But okay, MOOC I think is that's what really I was hard. On. I like You're I like part of a small difficulty of entry as a criteria. That makes sense. No, that's the worst one to me. Difficulty yeah, of entry. That would make sense to me. Mm-mm. I know why. That would make more sense to me. Because, like, it shows that, okay, we're at this level. And if you don't have what it takes to get to this level, then you're not at our level. Okay, pick a university. But it's not like, that simple. Pick a university, like, like let's mm-hmm. say, like, a private one, a small one, like, yes, but. They can have. Like that, they can have. They can just be like nada. Yeah, the, we are not like one like If you're in East, but we are sorry, man. <laughs> no, like, it's, pri- it's a private <laughs> university and it's smaller. So they could say that. We're accepting only five percent this year, and then they'd have the hardest entry rate. Does that mean that the quality would be higher? What they exactly? But isn't that also affected by like how many people apply. applications? Yeah, people get how many people apply? Mm. Yeah, but then like the application <laughs> thing is arbitrary. The the amount that they accept, they just yeah, set I'm a that can that have f- uh, enough? Af- can that affect the acceptance rate? <coughs> and that's the acceptance rate. And I guess we can just all agree that it's it's a time thing mainly. Why MOOC is yeah, it's a time like, thing, hundred percent. Like they just they've had a longer time. They've been on a on a board longer. So I think you see use better run. Definitely better run. Definitely. But of late, I've been hearing a lot of complaints. What you see? Yeah. Like post COVID. Yeah. Damn. Quite a bit. But at but least like half the, the people level. lose their marks. Definitely yeah, not on the, on the same, same level. level. Definitely not. Mm. Okay. <laughs> So I think it's the best. The only problem is it didn't make any sense. So after my first semester, I dropped out of university never to go back again because to me, it only came down to these two things. Why are you doing it? And where do you want to be? When I truly asked myself, I was only doing university for my parents or maybe that's just what people told me is the only way to make it so after primary and high school it only made sense to get a job i guess that worked in the past because very few people had access to knowledge at all you had to go to university to to learn but that's just not the case anymore now everyone has access (laughs) (laughs) you lead lead sir Uh 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 no i just wanted me i agree to that point like as far as we are in the video now, I agree with you. You know something? I think that it's hard to pack a lot of information in a TikTok in a two-minute video. So it's going to be... This is a really good try, bro. This was a really good try. <laughs> like, I know that, I know like you, you definitely edited this. And 
you thought that with each of the edits, because the edits have like videos, and like you're making more and more sense. <laughs> 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 but guys, guys, stop listening. At, I dropped out of the universe. At 19. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, first of all, the thing is, I've not been on Twitter for a while. Uh-huh. Why? Where was the problem? Okay, the yeah. biggest problem uh-huh. that I saw was me saying that it's outdated. So that's what people were saying. Yes, it came off as like a personal attack on people, which wasn't obviously my intent. But man, there's so there's so many words you can fit in a TikTok. You know, TikTok has a time limit. Twitter has a different mm. time limit. Instagram is 60 seconds. So for you to like get your point across, you have to summarize. Seconds? It's okay if you want it to pop off. If you mm. want a reel, if you want to be like a reel that pops off, it has to be less than six seconds. <sighs> so, man, I what was even the, thinking. I guess what was the goal before we continue with this? What was what I think, was your goal? I think my goal was to because I think to be honest, the most personal question I ever get is why I dropped out of uni. Even before I started posting too many videos, Rolex, blah blah blah. It's mostly what because it's such a yeah. You you don't realize how weird it is here. I mean, it's very know, weird I to drop like out. It's not even weird. It was weird in your circumstances. Because you keep saying, oh, uh, <laughs> even when you say, I had a scholarship, but guys feel like this dude was just a regular like student <laughs> who got lucky and had a... Bro, this guy was the best student <laughs> in our school. <laughs> this dude was the smartest kid in school and he chose not to do school anymore. <laughs> the legend of Raymond. That's why guys <laughs> ask you in particular because everyone's like, bro, how could you of all people Stop going to school, man. But you see, people on Twitter and all that, they won't know any details. That's why, like, I, didn't, that's why I didn't comment. This is my comment. Day. I didn't I'm sorry, why did you guys even back uh, me up, man? You guys. Back you back up. Back <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> no one backed me. I was like, you know, when, when you comment, it's always at the top of the comments. I said you're spitting. You didn't say. No, I didn't see that, bro. <laughs> I know. He actually commented that. <laughs> but, <laughs> I mean, he didn't back you up in terms of like argument, but he, he, he yeah, said you're spitting. Yeah, I said you're you spitting. But I thought you were like spitting. But like, <laughs> and yeah, man, you know, eh? <laughs> when you're going for it, like when you try and piss people off like that, you can't expect your friends to like, uh, how, because you don't want to post the video, you edited it and all that stuff, so it's fine. I get yeah. it. No, but you weren't even trying to piss people off, but it worked. <laughs> same kind of information. Right, I think Africa that's almost is littered with very educated but very unemployed youth who the system's failing and that's just not f- okay now i'm just trying i keep stopping at the point where you are pissing guys off <laughs> the first thing you said is that this shit doesn't matter <laughs> that was the first one right what you said university didn't make sense then you said these guys are very educated they are very unemployed <laughs> you, you are touching guys you are touching all those <laughs> points all our pressure points that you are hitting them. This is why guys got mad, you know. Do you know, I didn't mean to piss people off. I was just yeah. trying to, I don't know, man. I was just trying to make a point in a short time. And in trying to abbreviate your words, you have to use some words that are very offensive, you know, man. You know, you know, you know, how, how am I supposed to say that? It didn't make sense. Now, instead of saying it didn't make sense to me, I, I was like, okay, let me address that. It's my opinion. At the start, let me say, why I dropped out? Of, then, like that'll be my opinion. Others could have ended every sentence by I could have ended every sentence by saying, "To me, in my opinion, this is just what I think." Yeah. But the video would have been five minutes. Six you know what's minutes. sending me is how every time you're making a strong point, <laughs> the camera zooms in and you're like very <laughs> uneducated, <laughs> very uneducated. <laughs> <very unemployed. laughs> you're gonna be like, I want to smack this dude. <laughs> and right now, a good PR guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 this guy is one PR guy. Okay. Man, I, 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 when I posted that video, like the outdated part of it, it pissed people off. I didn't mean it like that. I just meant that, you know, every industry in the, on this planet for the, like the last hundred years has been evolving. The school system is basically the same. It's the only, it's like only the, it's like the only institute and religion that haven't really changed that much. Mm. Arguably, so they're the most close to people's hearts and I get it, it's the most personal, but I don't want to piss people off, man. I just wanted to say my truth. I think that I could have done a better job Mm-mm. of saying my truth, though. I think you could have. Nah, when I watched back the video, I think have. the last half... Oh. Mm, I think the last half I could have the, said... The wording was... Yes, the okay. Okay. There are I, could have, words, I could yeah. have said... I could have pointed it at me a bit more. That's perfect, because we're starting the last half now. 
The ones that do get jobs absolutely hate them because they find that that's not really what they want to be doing. But now you've already spent like five years of your life, which isn't fair. Like, I hope you hear that. Like, you heard that part, right? The ones who have jobs hate <laughs> their lives. <laughs> you guys hate yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> as well if you don't know what you want to do now you're probably better off on youtube trying a few career paths yeah, that's and just seeing kind of what your path is about <laughs> well, guess, it could be you to uni for you <laughs> <laughs> like i agree <laughs> with you <laughs> i agree with you i agree with you bro like you're a bit of in the school of youtube <laughs> that's right date <laughs> that's a plumber chick Coming, golf, whatever. Now you can make a lot of money doing anything under the sun. And if you already know what you want to do, you do not need a piece of paper to give you permission to start practicing a particular skill. To make money in this world, you have to get really good at doing one thing in specific. Sales, social media, stock trading. It takes roughly 10,000 hours to get good at something. And the fastest well, way to do that is to get well. to <laughs> do that. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Where'd you get that from? That statistic. Isn't that like a statistic? It's a book. It's from a book. It's not from a book. It's not from a book. It's like an idea that a lot of people Yeah, like... I thought that one was yeah, like, but it's actually from it's, 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 it's actually from a book. He got it from a book. Yeah. He that oh. nigga, sorry, that nigga got it from a bunch of scientists as well. People had a career that research. Like it's yeah, not so it's, it's not scientific research. Like to get good at something, you take ten thousand hours. Yeah, it's, it's an like, arbitrary number. It's not like a real thing. Yeah. yeah. It's not like count this ten k and you're good. It's not a fact. Yeah. Yeah. It's just an but idea. It's, <laughs> it's actually much longer than that. Like the entire study. Because it's ten thousand dollars to get good and then to become an expert, thirty thousand. So I'm just like that. Ah, now that's yeah. news to me now. That yeah, also that's hours. You guys have different capacities. Some guys get become experts faster than that, right? But I mean, I think it's the idea. It's, it's like you're trying to be part of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah it takes us. Because <laughs> he said it like this. He people stuck on the ten thousand hours. That's the one that got really popular. But he was saying it's more like eight years to ten years, something like that. <sighs> ten, like if you work at ninety-five, it'll take you like ten years. If you do it 24 hours a day, it'll take you like five, like something like that. And also the age you are, you, the age you are determines. If you're a kid, it's much faster. There's just too many yeah. variables. Yeah, huh? But it's like these points. Your if you expand it. <laughs> 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 she him say 10,000 hours. <laughs> Where did you get that from? Well? <laughs> Someone said I switched off when I saw 10, when he brought 10,000 hours. I was like, damn, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the people were also on your side were saying it. <laughs> oh, wow. Like, there's a guy you tweeted. <laughs> hey, Ambu, the thing is, all of you think you have to make it in life. I saw Twitter and I was like, <laughs> <"This is laughs> <it." laughs> you saw that tweet <laughs> off of Twitter. <laughs> 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 Thing. Not spending three to five years of your life in the hopes that someday at age 50 you'll finally become the manager of some government organization <laughs> and then you can start <laughs> living your life. Yeah, you thank you. I still think that university <laughs> is helpful if you're trying to operate in patients or something like that, but majority of people do not need to go to university. I want it's your opinion outdated on this. That and point. success when can only says? be measured by your academic achievements. It's still very weird to talk about dropping out in Africa, so to every single African parent out there, I just want to let you know, <laughs> no one cares if your child went to school or not. <laughs> Question, let me ask you guys. Like, Do you think majority of people need to go to university? Factor in that were 48 million people in Uganda. Okay, me, even let me tell you, honestly, like, I agree with everything you're saying in here, like, literally everything. Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, my issue with it is, I guess, like, for me, I know you. <laughs> So I have a lot of context <laughs> in terms you of like way too much context. Way too much context. When this guy says some stuff, like so like when, 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 when this video dropped, it was kind of like, yeah, this is this is Raymond's story. This is what Raymond thinks. Raymond says it's ten thousand dollars <laughs> oh, like, every month. You know, that Get good at one thing. thing. <laughs> I can hundred with you, bro. When you first posted this, I didn't watch it because I was like, bro, 
I've had this nigga say this 5,000 different ways. Bro, I'm yeah. telling you. <laughs> so I'm like, what has prompted this dude to say this? But the place that you're in right now, it's almost like whatever you posted is just going to go viral. <laughs> so after I came back and I found 2,000, I was like, yo, have guys not had Rafa say this before? <laughs> And then I watched it and I was like, okay, yeah, as expected, it's exactly what I thought you would say. So me, I, even when I said that you're spitting, bro, jazz, I hadn't read the other comments. But my lord, when I came back, and all I've seen is <laughs> rainbow, 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 rainbow. And like I've seen, like, guys on Twitter now, they like to sub. Guys don't like to shoot direct anymore. So guys, there are so many subs. I was like, eh? what are subs? Subtweeting. Like, they're not really talking, they're not talking to you direct. But oh, yes, 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 yes. There are too many subs. So I go through the comments and I'm like, yo. This has gone. Bro, guys flamed you, bro. Like I read me, the comments like that though. For me, I know you mm. and I know like I guess I know your intentions. But then I was trying to now see it from like the perspective Outside of someone view. Yeah, like who hadn't like who doesn't know you. And I think the most popular comment or like one of the threads I saw that was of, of, <laughs> of, of like argument that I saw is like man, don't listen to this guy, it's just like a rich guy. Uh-huh. Don't listen to him, bro. For you are not in the same situation. And I was thinking And that's a question nah, I bro. throw at you. But first to the question that you asked. If we think majority of Ugandans should be going to university, I mean, like people in general. Okay, yeah, Ugandans. Yeah, or Africans, because you said mm. Africans in the video. Mm. I think university is where. That's where I draw the line. I definitely think guys should get educated. Guys should go to like primary school and high school, so guys should know how to read and write and stuff. But university in particular, bro, that path is it's not for everyone, man. And it's no longer a thing of that path is where the most money is either. And also the way the university s- system is set up, eh? shit is very, very classist. So if everyone is aspiring to go to to go to university, it's a thing of it's only one class of people who are really going to succeed through that path. Fact. You know. You you perfectly put. Yeah, that's how I see it. But uh no, I agree with most of what you said. But this this last thing that you said of the parents just yeah, that was, I'm trying. <laughs> well, you listen that on back, you must have been like, <laughs> the guys care, <laughs> the nah. guys care. Yeah, your parents are just your mom is just dope, bro. I, bro, my parents are tough as hell. Has your mom seen this? Your mom, she saw it. What did she think? She saw it and like you know something, a big reason that I can't. Sometimes I don't say like things to the fullest of where I can really get like. People can't. It's because I still have a mother that cares, bro. Yeah, if I cares. if I go crazy, which I wanted to go crazy, some okay, I feel like going crazy sometimes on university and stuff, but I know she still likes idea of university and stuff, so I don't want to be disrespectful. But yeah, she saw a video, she didn't like it. She but, doesn't like it. I, mean, I don't know. I like your mom, she always says what she thinks. Bro. <laughs> My she dad did. He liked he it. He loved it. He <laughs> was like, Yes, thank you for educating. <laughs> like, bro, that's mad. And anyway, what are you, what do you think? Now, for me, personally, I have nothing wrong with university. Although I agree with you that my, where, what I have, my issue with university is this whole narrative of like, it's a must, bro. Like, you must go to university even if you're not doing anything of, st- like anything you want or anything mm-hmm. that's like beneficial to you, but you must at least go there and get some kind of paper because it might help you. In that. that whole idea is what I have an issue with, man. I think that people should like definitely find out what they're interested in in life, like do some kind of soul searching. And if that requires a university degree, you should pursue that. Others, you should just do what you want to do, like like you said. And I don't think majority of jobs, okay, I don't say, I won't say jobs, but like professions don't necessarily need a university degree to do. They just require you for, for you to know how to do the thing. Yeah, like I had uh, so many of my parents tell you stories of like how it was back in their generation. Like they, they went to school, they got this degree, and but now they're doing something completely different. I know they're professionals in that field. For me, it's actually... But they didn't, they didn't study for it. It's a conversation with my granddad that gave me perspective on university. Because for him, he said... That's what he told me, that, bro. For him, like, when he finished un- when he finished high school, university was just the next step. Like, it was I think of, oh, man, I want to be... Nah. <laughs> he finished high school, <laughs> and he said, okay, you pass this and this. This is what we're giving you at university. He finished university, and they said, okay... You have this degree, so you're going to work here. Like, everything was already preset. It was also very classist, obviously. But then it was, that, like, if you went to university, you were guaranteed a particular job in that particular field. That's not the case anymore, mm-hmm. man. You know, I think that, like, other people are going to watch this and be like, these are just three privileged people talking. And, you know, like, you're t- telling me about privilege, mm-hmm. right? I think that, yes, 
we are very privileged. Like, I mean, like that privilege thing, you can push it. You, I don't know how far that goes because we're 48 million people in this country. Only 3 million live in Kampala. Are those guys privileged? Like, because Kampala is the best chance. Okay, now in Kampala, if you're in this, I don't know if it's like, are you in this economic bracket? Are you able yeah. to go to school? How it's like you can push privilege so far. Yeah, like so that privilege thing so a Kampala guy going to his village and saying, bro, Kampala sucks. Don't go there. And guys being like, shut, you're just telling us not to go there because you went there. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, bro, how are you tweeting about privilege? You're using I I I brought this <laughs> argument to someone, they were like, yeah, I'm like, you're using an iPhone to tweet on like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's kind of like all privilege. I get no, it. I get I it like that we're privileged people can definitely call other privileged people out for not recognizing their privilege. But my biggest issue, and this is where I was getting touched on your behalf, is the way that they were saying that you were privileged. Everyone just sort of assumed that when you made this decision to not go to 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 get out of uni, that your parents were like, okay, our son, let's give you all of this money to buy all this equipment <laughs> so you can yeah, pursue your right. dream. <laughs> and in my mind, and as you've seen guys who know, no, or maybe they might not know that details, but they remember, like the period that you went through when us were in school. Damn, bro! Like, you, I, you were going through it. Yeah, we were in school, but you, you were going through it. Bro, I was broke as hell for like two years of my life, and they were the most miserable years of my life. They were the most fulfilling in a way, because I, yeah, I've never been happier than when I just dropped out. Like I was so broke, I couldn't afford anything. I couldn't even afford to link with my friends, but. It was so fulfilling, like, even, like, if I had 10,000 shillings, that 10,000 would feel so much better than having, like, 100k today or, like, whatever money you have, like, a million. I I don't know. You know what I mean? It's like you're grounded so much that every you kind of feel everything. You're present. But, yeah, like, I saw a lot of the privilege thing was being directed to, ah, you dropped out? Okay, let's make you a japati for a 16. Yeah. I'm like, bruh, <laughs> I, I want to share my story. Yeah, but, so let's make you a japati. Uh, I would like to share my story, but there's so many people involved. There's so many emotions and stuff that people will still be offended by today. Like people that are close to me. Now, so yeah. I ain't really like, but I, I want to. It I just was to. like that university thing really strikes an emotional chord with people. It's not like a, a mental, it's not a, logical a, mental a logical argument. It's like an emotional thing. And I think it goes down to like, either like how we're raised or like something in our society that just teaches us, man, you really have to go to school, bro. Like, that's the only way you'll yeah. succeed. And if you don't go to school, you're really taking the biggest risk ever. Like, yeah, <laughs> completely in like a, a whole different world, bro. Like, I, I, I have no advice for you, bro. I think, <laughs> I think the way guys saw it, like going back to your privilege thing is, obviously, you are privileged in the sense that you could make a choice like that and still have a place to sleep. Yeah. Still have food, still have... Like, that thing. was a privilege. Yes. That, like, that choice didn't kill you. Mm. But I think for a lot of people, they see it as... Like that, it's that or nothing. Like that's the only choice. If you don't go to school, you're choosing a life of squalor. And I don't know if that's a hundred percent true anymore, bro. University. <laughs> I don't think that uni. Oh, definitely, university has been a path for a lot of people to succeed, right? But I don't think that refusing to go to university is a detrimental choice for everyone. I think that most people have the system. But you know, when I posted that video, the number one thought that is in my head is. Just like if you were to ask me, like a big takeaway from like what did you see from your point of view, bro? Do you remember in the Matrix when this guy was offered the red or blue pill? Mm. Most people had rather just stay asleep. Of course, you cannot. Uh, of I course, when I posted that video, I didn't expect it to be pushed back that much. Me and Christian was like, obviously, me and Christian were laughing. We're like, bro, it's going to push back, mm -hmm. but it got so much pushback, and I was like, bro. We shook, we shook the matrix. No, no, matrix, just go back to bed. Go back. Yeah. We're okay. Let's, let's like, I was like, bro, this is crazy. This is what the, this is what the people that are in charge of the universe want us, that are in charge of the world, want us arguing about. University, that's where they want our attention. Not all the stuff that they're stealing from Africa, not the labor, not the... Da, da, da. They want you to argue over university. And like, just to summarize, I think that people have it wrong in terms of, like, university, I think they should all be starting from what do I want, bro? Because if you want to make money, bruh, you ha there is... Money to be made. If you want to make money, get good at making money. You know what I mean? Start from, like, I want to make money, so how is money made? It's by providing people value. That value just got ignored. No one even... Out of, the, <laughs> out of like, the 10,000 comments I saw, no one said anything about value. There was not even one comment about value. 
I was like, of course there's no comment about value. The people who are, the billionaires will never share this shit. They want you arguing over you. you argue with, come to my university. Of course, there isn't going to comment. In the, co- yeah, bro, yeah, nada. You guys should want to go to university. <laughs> come to my university. <laughs> where you can, uh, uh, for me, it's like, how, if you're, most people are in there to make money. That's why I just summarized to make money. Most people in university make money. Money, I, how much value I provide, how do I provide value? And that's where it should go. That's like the line of thought. But really, the line of thought in Africa is, no, it's Africa, it's really hard. Da, da, da. Um, we only know uni, so go to uni and then get a job. That's it. But that's the thing. There are no jobs. Okay, that's a lie. There are some jobs, but they're definitely not enough to keep up with the amount of graduates every year, bro. Like, that logic of go to uni and get a job is really, really flawed to me, bro. I have so many of my guys who graduated when I was still in uni. When, uh, not uni. When I was still in high school, guys don't have jobs. To this day, they're still doing, like, Farming. odd jobs here and there. Mm. So, I, I feel like there's a definitely, like, some wool over the society's eyes there that has to be addressed. Because you can that can't be the end of BO. Right but I think now. it's good for us to start the conversation. <laughs> yeah. like, it's, it's good to, like, uh, start, okay, someone, start the conversation. Uh, and then we can say this, there's not only one way for everyone to live. Most people can't even go to uni even if they wanted. You know what I mean? Not that my message was to like someone in Karamoja or whatever, but realistically, not everyone can go to uni in Uganda. Mm. There's only, I think I read, there's only like a few thousand graduates every year from all universities in Uganda. Apparently, there's like, I think it's like maybe a short, shy of like a million graduates, something like that in total, in entire Uganda. Including parents, it's like I forgot the number, but there's 48 million people in Uganda, and, and that's actually an interesting point because I think a lot of the people who were commenting negatively are probably people who have either been to uni or are in uni or are aspiring to go to uni, which is that's privilege, that's bro. Majority, yeah. And you're, you're already as long as you're in that category, you're already like in some kind of privileged situation, whether you want to admit it or not, because that's like what like what you said. Not everyone will ever. Yeah. So them shouting privilege is kind of. But me, I also think there's like a, there's like a, there's a, a deeper layer to this in a sense that for us we're seeing it as university being a path to making money. That's basically the argument. If you want to make money, don't go to you don't have to go to university, right? Or to survive or whatever, you don't have to go to university. But for a lot of people, especially in Africa. Like that's the goal. Like going to university is the actual is the goal. goal. And having the paper, yeah. is like the just have the paper. Thing have the title and like society will look at you a certain way and you'll make enough money just by virtue of that title, make enough money to to push on. Because like, bro, even in a village, you can see the way that guy who is called doctor mm. is treated because mm. he's an, an actual doctor. Just the fact that he has that title, mm. it gains him this position in society where he's comfortable enough. You dig? I think I sometimes look at it in the eyes of the paper is not going to guarantee you the highest form of success, but the paper is the success, I think, for a lot of people. Man. I guess if you look at it from that angle, it's true because I remember when I was having this conversation with my parents, that's one of the things they brought up. They're like, how will people look at you? Yeah, how will people look at yeah. you? And like, it's one of those things that even though like you grow up, it's you always have that thing that, mm. why don't I have that paper? Or when, when like, I end up meeting with your boys, who are all like have like papers? You want yeah, to have and I was like, I'm like no. Okay. But even even though, yeah. even though I feel it, like, is that the astrobiz uh, 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 right, man? Come on, like, even that's even though that's the case, bro. Like, <laughs> like I remember I looked at like, really, that's what like you're worried about right now. But I guess that's how a lot of people look at it. Like, it yeah. brings you a lot of prestige, and you cannot stand up in society if you do not have that degree. But like, you but, know, I think. People have been lied to, and the lie is just so deep that there is not much communication you can make right now. You can start to wake some people up, but it's just because, like, it's not that many people that will agree with what we're saying here. You, we agree because we're five people in here, but yeah, <laughs> that's we're, we're if, friends. That's the problem. Yeah, well, our, our minds are kind of like in the same place. But me, I lucky disagree. You do. Hey, why don't you oh, disagree, hey. bro? Oh, people, ah, the conversation was flowing. Yeah. I was like, let me wait. Get get to, disagree. <laughs> what point do you I disagree, disagree with? I disagree a bit. Okay. But then I generally agree. What but point do you disagree why. with? I don't think the problem starts with uni. I think it starts when you're much younger. Um, because by the time you reach university, you've done a combination of subjects that enables you to get that course. Yeah. Um... And I think in there somewhere is where the problem is. Because people do not know what they want to be or want to do. 
early enough. So by the time you reach university, you've just been going through the motions. Yeah. And then university is too diverse in terms of the options you have. That now you're seeing other things and you have more time to look at them. Now you're seeing other things and you're like, eh, I'm actually passionate about this. But you're already studying something different. I think generally there are three things that you need. I'm not saying they're limited to, but there are three things I think you need to thrive in a certain field. And that's, of course, things like equipment, consistency, and community. And university at least gives you a community of people who are doing the same thing you do, and that helps you succeed. So you can share ideas, you can do that. Um, the good thing is that can also be built outside university. On Twitter. Yeah, that too. <laughs> but I think university is, is important. I just think the problem is by the time you get there, you've been going through the motions long enough, you still continue to go through them. If we could figure out these things way before, university has so much value to offer in terms of those three things I've mentioned. Yeah? So I would say... Um, the problem with the education system begins way earlier. That's true. And if you look at the ones that really work, um, they do that earlier. Like by the time you reach university, it's so diverse, you're going to find people doing things like interior design as a specific course in university. Mm. In Africa, we have what a total of like six actual professions mm. that are marketable. Like, but when these things you can learn faster than three years. Man, and that point has brought up is actually so important, man. Like I think I wouldn't have had such a big issue with uni if it was working the way that guy has described it right now. Because you should definitely like as a child explore different activities Facts, that you might be interested yeah. in and then base your university course on that. But, but now as when a system they even like cancel out all curricular activities in the school. So but must just you spend it, but even you after you reach there, must you spend five years learning this thing? I think it depends. Some courses require even more than five years, I think, before I want a guy to touch me. Yeah, in it's, that course. It's, it's like saying like a medical doctor. doctor you do two years of mechanics. Yeah, and then just go and operate guys. It also heavily depends on the field. Because for yeah. example, mm. some fields, like design yeah. courses, you're not going to find many of them three years or probably be one or two. But you see me, I think the most value you get is having those people around you who are doing the same thing as you, if you're passionate about it. And that's why you realize when people go for masters, um, you'll probably have one year of actual studying and then another you're doing research with your people. You're doing a bunch of other stuff that's different. And for me, that's why I think university is important. I'm not saying it's the, it's the direct way, and that's why I agree with you guys. That's the issue. But I think it still has value to provide if it's done the right way. Yes. In an ideal world. Let me ask but you. we are not... In an, in an ideal world. Setting. In UCU, do they pick your course for you as well? No, you apply for the course that you want. Because I think it was it MOOC why they pick that course. Yeah, like you apply you. for a bunch, like four. And then they pick one. And then the one that you're, jo that, the one in order that your marks qualify for is one that you get. So if this if the top one is 50 marks, cert points, but you get 49, you'll get the next one. Uh. Yeah. The one oh, where yeah, your the, the weight slots points, in. Eh? Yeah, <coughs> where your weighted aggregate slots in. How does stuff work? Because now I'm thinking about what, what the voice said. How does stuff work in those economies where the kids are kind of like... And I don't know if they, if they do it or whether kids are interested in a particular thing, so that, that's what they like focus on. You know, it I depends mean, on the education system Now that also. they force you to diversify, bro. So oh. like, for them, how the high school is set up, at least how it was in Canada, you would have... For example, to graduate high school, you need a particular number of credits. So if it's like, say, 40 credits, the 40 credits are split de like depending on like the number of subjects they have in the school. So like if it's like 14 subjects or so like 20 subjects, it just has different credits. They're all weighted differently. So like math can be like, say, 10. Then, but then like PE is like 5. And then food and nutrition is like 3. So like that, like that, they break them down. So you kind of have an amalgamation of courses so like you're supposed to find out which courses can give you what credits and to get like the, the final amount of credits that are required to go to university so that that's how they do it. so and that's in that way you go through like so many different courses like you have mm. it's like a different the the, the the reasoning is different behind like the selection of classes that you pick you know i think that the this is the only one of the only things i concede to university that i concede i think that it's wrong for you to assume that most people, uh, I'm not saying any of you, but like if someone were to think that most people want to make money, 
it might be wrong for you to assume that. That's the only time I ever get caught in my tracks. I'm like, bruh, maybe most people just want, like, just to kind of, like, get by. And university technically is, if you have the chance to go, if you have the funds, and it technically is the safest bet. You know? I think it's the safest bet. But to say that everyone must, you must, uh, I think that's, that's totally off. I just have been one of those like it's just easier to go with a flow type. Thing. Yeah, like, it's easier to go with a crowd, and it's also to, because like, it's what we've known for the longest time, and it's what, what has been those who have been funding university incentives. know. There's too because many, yeah, there's too many incentives eh, to go to university. Like making money alone eh, is not a strong enough incentive. You know, if it's making money on one side and then mm. family, mm. church. Friends, mm. everything else on the other side, bro. You just can't win. Like you have to really, really. Mm. That's why it's, there's so few guys that decide not to go to uni and make money instead. Mm. Facts. Um, man, but you must making money topic forever. is also that that one can be a whole podcast, man. Yeah, yeah. I so saw, that one bro. I saw when that thing was when they were flaming me. I saw there was like Twitter Spaces and stuff opening up, like two different ones. Guys, should we go to uni? That was the time. Then it was on radio really? that day. Yeah, it was on radio. As well, that Everybody night came to me. I was uh, <laughs> telling go your friend, why has disrespected us? I'm like, which friend? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys had that guys had in that video. Drop out. I was like, damn, bro, I'm saying value. I understand like why you're there. Why? Why am I going to uni? Why? To what end? Blah blah blah. They are, they are, drop out of university. Fuck everyone. Nah, I wasn't trying to communicate that. <laughs> nah, but you're viral, you get like the pandemic, man. <laughs> um <laughs> Uh, we talk about something else. What do you guys want to talk about, man? Truth or drink? Yeah. Hey, oh, let's <laughs> we talk about this guy. No, I'm just, just going to entertain you. Ask me the truth, actually. Oh, damn. Can we? Can, yeah, you, tell, yeah. can you tell it to, to us on air? What truth? <laughs> how it actually how did ah, What do you mean? <laughs> damn. What do you mean? How you <laughs> damn. Tell us that. How it what do you mean? There was like a hard cut day. Yeah. Ah, I don't hard cut. Damn. <laughs> and then didn't cut. <laughs> that was a nasty cut. Why, why? I'm seeing the comments and everyone's saying that. What up? Um, I just want to okay. know. Okay, to be honest. Me, then, I, next scene was down. I thought it was an editing card, but this game now put that nah. idea in my head. She asked, then he asked, are you okay? And then he tried and she jammed, right? Nah, yeah, that so. was the okay. cut. What oh, actually? Like, oh, we want to know what happened. Okay, the director's cut. The director's cut. Bring, bring the room files. We want to watch that now, bro. <laughs> bro, I looked at it. that video. Is now my most popping video, man. Yeah, it, mm-hmm. it's almost like a meal on Twitter. <laughs> no, I think it's. I think it's now a thing of. Now they just build on top of each other. Yeah, 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 I think. Yeah. First, I know so. the people. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's new one that you post, just, they just build on top of each other like that. Bruh, I want to, with TikTok, I mean, I want to make it way easier for me to film, man. Like, I'm trying to do most of, more of the, no way, you just do a green screen. Like, I'm trying mm. to do more, more of those, like, you can pump out hella content wherever you are, however you're feeling. Mm. That, that truth and dare stuff is really hard, man. It takes, like, days to, to edit. You have to get guys what... So, yeah. As I'm doing the news, that's what you mean, like, green yeah. screen? Yeah. Uh, if I could pick one to pop off, that'd be it. I can film it now. Mm-hmm. I can film it wherever, bro. You know? About whatever. And TikTok, by the way, TikTok's different. Like, TikTok, you could get so much attention off of nothing. Yeah. Literally, bro. You ca- Like, you see a news thing? Did you see, watch it? Okay. You can just do one of those. You can just do, like, a segment, and it pops off like a million. Okay, but how did it end? Ah. Yeah, I was about to say the same thing. I was like, ah. you've taken us full up. I'll tell you guys. Off, <laughs> off, off, yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you guys uh, see the election? R- R- yeah. Yeah. I'm going to pass over to him now. Away. Congratulations. Congratulations. To <laughs> 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 this yeah. passing through as uh, yeah. president of, of Kenya. Okay, yeah, yeah, man, I guess. It was, tight one, them, it was a tight one, though. It was a tight one. It was very tight. Like Zero point yeah. four so long, man. Was it like 270,000 people? Something like that. Or 207,000. That's like 150.4 versus 140. But that's mad that this is the stuff that we care about, man. Elections. Yeah, yeah like, that's it. crazy. You know what? I was literally like, I was, there were points where I was on edge as well. Because if those guys, if shit pops off there. Bro, you have to care. Let me tell you, if you have things to care. are bad now, <laughs> if things had popped off there, I oh like, my God, In bro. general, like. Why is, why do we really care about like 
Because the last time they fought, I mean, yeah, no, 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 not like Kenya. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about Elections. Kenya. Or I'm talking about like in general. Like, mm. why do we care about Biden or Trump? To me, I think I guess because they're leaders. You want to know who is leading? But okay, I, but I guess <laughs> your point is now who is leading here. No, <laughs> no, 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 asking, no, like, no. in general. It? Like, what does that to do with you? Yeah, like, bro, the, the, the fact is, it might seem like it didn't affect you, but it, it does. definitely does. But how much? <laughs> like, <laughs> to what degree? Let me give you an example. <laughs> Let me give you an example. <laughs> Russia gives, is it like quarter of the world's oil? Some, some just, okay, it's, it's a significant amount. Why do you think fuel is 6K now? Um, <laughs> gee, I think that, let's say pick someone in like, Barara, mm. pick like a sixty, no, not forty-six year old person that's retired in, but that's not even retired. That just has like a bungalow in Barara. Mm. How much does this affect your life? Who is the president of like Italy or Tanzania? Would it affect? Like, wouldn't it benefit you more to worry about like you, your life? I don't think it's that simple, man. Mm. Yeah. I still don't I think it's that simple. Yeah, you have to be, like, have to be interested in something. Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> you can just be in his, bang- his bungalow in Barara. But it can be like, it can be like, it can be like improvement <laughs> stuff, you know. And like, I think presidential elections are like, that's one of the better things you can care yeah, about. Be there are many things that I can care about <laughs> on the internet that are not so beneficial, like, I don't know, man. Just pick any of these challenges like that oh, people like, care yeah, about. The great yeah. challenge. Yeah. Okay, how oh, oh, they get? <laughs> the great <laughs> challenge. <laughs> Gee, this is my thing, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like, I, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but I swear we've been lied to, man. Like, <laughs> someone has lied to us. How is this what we care about? Me, I, Do you know most people benefit definitely. by working out a bit more, waking up a bit earlier, things like that. I definitely yeah, get your point. in a world that you you don't really have too much control. Yes, that world, bro. there are so you many can things try happening your best, eh, to control your immediate surroundings, eh? but just know that your immediate surroundings are affected by bigger things. And I guarantee you that who the president of Kenya is will and the affect of Ugandans. Election, <laughs> it will have an effect on your immediate surroundings. Bro. No, you see, like I, I'm talking about like general because Kenya and Uganda are sister countries. In some aspects, it will affect you. Yeah. I'm talking about like affect effect. Mm. I'm talking about why? Papa. I think yeah, like, I think the question you should be asking is the amount of time spent caring, caring and not yeah. caring. Doesn't make sense. You can care, but how much do you actually? How care? much like, do you are like? You are you dying <laughs> because of it? <laughs> Bro, because I, I feel like point. you still have to care. I read that in this in 2022, it's the first time social media usage for all apps has gone down. Every app besides TikTok. <laughs> you guys are watching challenges. Yeah, you man. know what I want to do? Eh? That's mad. I wish I could have like a. Uh, because I know someone's doing this research. Just how accurate are the stats, bro? You know what I mean? Like, how accurate are these numbers that guys keep blurting out? Because when they say stuff like, this is the first time that social media usage has gone down. Mm. Like, guys how big is hours. that sample Such space? Just, like, we need to know, like, bro. Why should I just believe that because you said it? Like, why didn't you show me when it was at its peak as well? But then to also su- but su- then they support what Raymond is yeah, saying. I, I when I he says, they report these numbers. Yeah, but figures. every yeah. phone has... You guys like, need to show me. Every phone yeah, has its usage. They send you these numbers every day. But like, do I don't have to be convinced <laughs> by a TikTok <laughs> one. I can see it, you know? TikTok, I can see that people are consuming yeah, yeah, yeah. it more and more. But also, add it's to only your one point, that I, I get addicted to. To add to your point, which is true. You guys were just now forgotten. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, tough luck. <laughs> <laughs> but I was on your side for a bit. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I think that that's mad, bro. Like, now you have to care. Now, let me tell you, in things you should care about, did you guys hear that Johnson Johnson's baby powder, the talc powder, mm-hmm. is actually carcinogenic? What does that mean? Because it's cancer. Apparently, the that baby chemical, powder? Yeah, the famous one, Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, that's a white he's, guy. Yeah, that's a white guy. With, like, like, with a hole, then you turn. Yeah, I'm putting your baby behind. Yeah. How? Carcinogen. In fact, they actually s- they stopped selling it next year, and they're now going to make one out of cornstarch instead. You know, but how about the rest of their products? Because they have lotions. Why they are have you a continuing at all? They should have to pay so many <laughs> fines. <laughs> bro, I'm it, telling you, bro. It's not that simple, but man. But these companies are crazy. When they when the, the, the guy who was writing this article reached out to them on this project, the guys were like, the, in their response, they're like, we're not stopping because this thing is carcinogenic. <laughs> we're stopping because of consumer trends in the world right now are moving towards like more. That, that was basically their whole argument. Yet, 
Apparently, the, what was causing the cancer in there is the talc, that talcum, talc powder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mined from the same mines that they get asbestos from, oh, which is an, an already very, banned yeah. Yeah, mm. a carcinogenic substance. And apparently, internal documents were, were leaked that showed that Johnson & Johnson actually knew about this for like a long time. I but read these documents always released in these companies even when they do something wrong. I, no I one cares. I think I saw Warren Buffett's budget allocation for the year. I, I, I TikTok on it. Gee, you as like a billionaire or like a billion dollar company, these guys have like three percent dedicated to lobbying fines for the year. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad, bro. They have money dedicated that this is going to politics to help us push this agenda. When we're in trouble, da, 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 this money is... But it's wise. mad. <laughs> do you know you do that? You, do, you know, do, you know, do you know you do the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> do you know you do the same thing? You just don't know. For example, guys always have that curtain K in the car. In case they don't find you with like a permit, you do the same exact thing, bro. <laughs> <But that's laughs> this is just on a grand scale. <laughs> that's crazy. Like, when I hear of stories like that, I question like, how much is your life really worth? <laughs> <Do you> guys, <laughs> you know, for me, I'm just waiting for... I'm waiting for guys... To just find out the one thing that's manufactured that doesn't go to, doesn't cause cancer. That's all. Just show me the one thing. The one thing that doesn't cause cancer. Just tell it to me. That's the only thing I want to know, bro. Because everything that passes through a factory, one day, they won't tell us. They won't tell us that it causes cancer. Yeah, but a lot of these things are made from inorganic substances, and you're made of. Carbon. It's just so, made from from what do you call it? It's made from minerals, right? Yeah, but like, have you factored in preservatives? Have you factored in stuff like that? You know, inorganic stuff and organic stuff. They're just not really meant to. That watch is not supposed to be in your body. Like, if you kept that watch in your body from the day you were born like after the day cancer. you die, you'll you won't believe what it looks like. Your skin. <laughs> so, like, every substance on your body isn't really meant to be in your body. So. so and now, what's the ones that go inside? Nice, no, like how they put titanium nitrate in the skittles. Skittles, bro. If, to make yeah. them shine. All these are like inorganic stuff, like man made concoctions. What? Now, look at plastic. Plastic cannot everything. be broken we, down. We, let me tell you, we speak on these mics for at least two hours a week. There's some shit that's coming out of this. <laughs> <week. laughs> Um, there's some yeah, yeah. <laughs> you might be at 60 with some some throat shit bro just know what caused it man honestly like, like everything everything makes us sick bro the AC and, is and on, you want us to record twice the AC is on that light is more bright bro like everything man do you remember those watches that used to glow apparently those aren't, aren't good as well <laughs> your juice I consumed your juice like a, <laughs> your juice is not your juice uh, <laughs> sir, what the shit that we used to make jolly juice jolly juice jolly juice hey, hey. I but this tell us that I'm in prime paper. Okay, this is. I just want to get off your hand, bro. I've been to Jolly Jesus guys are telling me that that thing is carcinogenic, bro. You know all the fridges that we used to have that were banned? Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, the ones that are things behind. Yeah. Yeah. That had like a free gas. It was a coolant that was inside. That's free. Yeah, and the mechanism. You're also not supposed to live too close to those masks. Yeah, yeah, you actually live, bro. Bro. You know, I live right day. next to a mast. There's, there's a guy who lives next to us, one of our neighbors. He has a mast in his gate, bro. In, like inside his face. <laughs> a big, like the signal is so good at home. But that guy is paying for it, bro. And the funny thing is, like this a whole life. apartment, bro. It's like an apartment block. So those yeah. guys I had it worse when you have like a child, Cooked. when you conceive a child while living next to a mast. I had that's the when you get the worst effect. I also, I also had that. That's mad. You know, when you're working a radioactive. Uh, Ha, no pun. Like uh, <laughs> this guy just came to like a factory, yes. like a factory that's dealing with radioactive substances. You're not supposed to work beyond a certain time. You're given like a, I think uh, you're given like a, an overall which has a coating that yes that changes color over time according to like how long you spend. Yo, I guess working. <laughs> I didn't know that too. Past a certain like, maybe that's Kito's factory. <laughs> yeah, <bro>. well, <laughs> well, 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 Johnson and Johnson. When it, when it turns a certain color, you've really worked for long no, and you, you, you have the, to be... Those are guys who die from titanium nitrate poisoning at factory workers. So, yeah, But sad. I'm okay with that. Sad fuck. Yes, I'm okay, I'm with, okay that. with that, bro. You cannot change it right now. Maybe our... The universe will end one day, man. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Not so, the universe, but maybe life on Earth. Not even the universe. It's 13 billion years that it's going to end in. 
Accurate nah, predictions. Accurate. Yeah, because I give him a number. But in billion, ten thousand. But our son, our son turns into a. Uh, it either turns into a supernova. Bro. Sorry, it either turns into a big giant or a small giant in a billion years. A red life giant. Life on Earth ends. Yeah. Yeah, red giant. Life ends. Then the universe at large it keeps on expanding. Come just like gravity is go- not gonna be a thing anymore. Planet is just bugging, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, anyway, bro that's that would be theoretical. Like, the universe guy even knew that right now. That's <laughs> all. 30 million years ago, those guys were dead wrong about everything. <laughs> there wasn't anything 30 million years ago. Listen, there, no, uh, there was definitely <laughs> something 13 billion years ago. How, How do you know that? that? The Earth is like hundreds of billions. No, it's 13. Like the universe is 13 billion years old. Oh, I, did you say that it's ending in 13 billion? Yes, it's about the same time from now that's gonna end. So in the middle. So we're in the middle. Journey. I See, don't no. know, but it's about that deep. Right. Yeah, but do you have anything else to go off on? I can just go off on that. <laughs> 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 but like, we're ultimately, like, you'll still end it the same way. You'll still... Me, I'll be yeah. dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be gone, bro. Man, I'm okay with that now. I'll be dead and gone. All I know is that these guys, there's a, there's a higher chance that they are wrong than there is that they are right. Why would you say something like that? Because it, history has always proved us wrong. There's almost no, there's almost no all, instance. I want who to has history proved wrong? We well, Newton. You know, you have to think about Newton. what history means. <laughs> has it proved Newton wrong? When you think about Newton, bro, <laughs> we're still in that same bracket. We're still in that same bracket of history almost. Ah, we're about too now close. Pre, like pre, pre, pre. You get. I mean, but okay, wrong. okay. If we follow that same logic, yeah. okay, uh-huh. then yeah. who has been proven right at all? There wasn't any information a hundred thousand years ago. But that's what right. you're saying. What I'm, what yeah, but then but now, now right. we're saying that everything is going to be wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. No, because right is very right is limited to the era that you're living in. So something could be right today and a hundred years and in and like in a thousand years from the time it's said. But what and would then, permit you to say something like that? Like like right now. Everything is right because we are living in it. What would permit you to even grant that circumstance? What I mean is everything is right until it's proven wrong. And the way history works is that those things are always proven wrong. Like what, bro? There's still gravity. I think gravity everything is, is wrong until proven dropped... right. No, everything is right until proven wrong. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. I'm so everything confused. Melvin, if you drop a pen from here, it's going to land on this table. That will never be proved. It's a law of the universe. The it's universe not. has a beginning, it will have an end. No, then you have been the first time. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Everything is right until it's been wrong. Listen, I don't know how to put this. But just know that there have always been instances where guys have been certain that what they believed was correct and they could prove that it was correct. The methodology of proving it keeps changing. I actually get what you're saying. And as long as the methodology get changes, what, okay, but what the truth is will change. Okay, now... Where your yours only works in a small framework. This is what science is. It's just an observation of how things work. Mm-hmm. Gravity will not change for the foreseeable future. At least gravity in the sense of like the earth pulls down will not change for the foreseeable future. Even if you throw away all the science, but now you will still come back to that in a hundred years. Foreseeable saying, future eh? is, is the key term, in the bro. era. Because what he's saying is it can change. When things change, which era is that going to change? When in? the sun becomes a red giant, as you say, but then life will die. Hey, then gravity, the gravity has changes. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, like what, what what I'm saying is, the universe has an. You can trace the waves that are that originate from the Big Bang. You can trace them to a single point. It keeps on expanding. It's still expanding. Did you know that well, we had the shortest day the other, a few years ago? Yeah. Within. Like the world, the, the universe keeps on expanding and it's going to expand until no, there is nothing. But you see what Melvin is saying, eh? Is we had the shortest day as far as we know. Like that's that's his point. On record. Eh? It, something like that. Yeah, like... So technically both of you are right. <laughs> anyway. Days used to be a bit longer, a bit shorter though, by the way, when the dinosaurs were there. It was like 21 Yeah, hours. I think it's... You see when you say a bit, eh? Any, let's just move. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just because also this I remember I think I just spoke about a few weeks ago and I was saying the world is spinning faster. Mm. It's remember speeding up or slowing down. Speeding up, that the speed like it's rot- it's revolving faster. That means yeah. I, have you guys seen how much faster it's revolving? You may you may spit on these guys and you see how much faster, bro. How much? It's by much, but I know it's spinning quite fast. Like, uh, like how much uh, we usually spin? Oh, spinning a bit. F- by how much was spinning fast? 
bro, by almost nothing. Hey. Like, it's so... Eddie, listen, man. It's minute. Yeah. For now. But I think numbers are just exciting to us, man. Um, Yeah, what else do you guys have? Do you guys have anything else to discuss? Yeah, when they talk about Trump, but Oh, now... bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, no, no. You can't discuss Trump. <laughs> Trump. But, this guy's uh, when I leave. Did you see... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, do you guys remember that one zone thing that we spoke about a few podcasts ago? Just remind us. The Ugandan MMA league. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. The yeah. cool guys who yeah. do their secret They league. finally have tickets on sale, man. Mm. Hey. Yeah. Ugandan For MMA? Yeah. It's called One Zone MMA. Is this legal? When's the next fight? The next fight is October 1st. I think it's going to be at Serena Hotel. Bro, that's close to my birthday. We go. Yeah, is that legal? Let's go. We go. The ordinary tickets are 150k. The VIP seat is 400k. Is that legal? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's proper. It's an it has been happening company. for a while. They've already done a season of fights. This is season two. Season one was not. What? The w- I mean, like you mixed, mixed martial arts. Mixed martial arts. Um, there was no live audience at the at the last season. They were just kind of recording it and posting. I guess they're trying to sell it to different investors or whatever. Yeah, man. Now they're they're gonna have their first show. They have a full league, bro, of like fighters. Like, it's a full roster. It's quite dope, man. One zone MMA. Here we That's go. Mad. It's really lit. It's really lit. Um, I, I think our table actually. is like four M. <laughs> then the VIP seat is four hundred k, and uh, ordinary seat is one fifty k. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of fighting on in Uganda, um, popping off on TikTok. Mm. Like, yeah, like they call themselves out. What now? I saw one where like one of these jacked bodybuilders was calling out the entire MMA community. Kickboxing community and MMA. I was calling him out because he finished calling out boxers, boxers, ref- all the boxers on TikTok. And yes. they're a huge community, bro. Talk about communities. They refuse to fight. They were jump to fight him. Then he called, to, I was, he's my favorite TikToker, I think. And then he called out mixed martial arts guys. There's a boxing guy who is always calling guys out as well. Eh, it's as like a community. calling guys out for what purpose? To fight him. Like in but like, uh, like, like, that's their character. They're like uh, in Uganda. Like Gwe in Uganda. Yeah, they call themselves out. The, the guy. He, they but press they record. ever fight? No. <laughs> they just <laughs> call each other out. Jabba to me, that saga. He's always, he's always, he's always, he's always like, Jabba to me, that. We have boxers. We have like, like, I'm like, I don't want anyone. <laughs> I should show you those videos, but they're mad. <laughs> I don't That's want good. anyone who is talking about kickboxing in Uganda. I will just come and... No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Golola bomb. You know, bro. <laughs> that Golola, don't even mention him like close to me. He's old. Because that Golola guy, that Golola guy, his thing just worked. Like, people have never forgotten that that thing worked. And they've now decided that someone else has to catch that lick. Because that guy made so much money. Off what? Just off his, like, just. personality, bro, from mm. just talking shit. But I think, I think it's like... Because I, I remember even... Muhammad Ali used to make so much money off his jazz. I think it's like a thing with combat, with combat uh, sports. Mm. But you have to be convincing, bro. Like, hey. the people are actually, like, weirdly perceptive. They can tell when you... When you're freaking... They, can, like, they, don't, they won't believe everyone that says it. Ah, what do you think about Adrian Broner? Because he used to jazz more, but he... <laughs> but he was his <laughs> It was pure entertainment. No, he could back it up, guys. Until a certain point. He just lost... He, he lost ah, la, la. <laughs> Looks like five. I think that life took him. I think, I think that life took him. I think he blasted, and things just took him. But bro, it's crazy. Uganda is changing a lot, man. Like, look at now we have MMA. That's mad, bro. Yeah, it's quite sick. That's it's crazy. Sick. And the fights are proper fights, bro. These guys are proper fighters. Anyway, we'll go and see. Man, the problem with that MMA stuff is none of these guys get paid according to like what they do, bro. No, so they're going to pay those guys five hundred k. No health care. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. No way. Because now, <laughs> let me tell you, this is the thing. In order for these guys to set that league up, they have to, I think they have to get the fighters to a certain level. So I'm sure they're taking care of them, taking care of like, their food probably, their accommodation, I guess, to an extent, their training, da, da, da. similar to what the actual, what the UFC does. But if you're selling tickets at 150k just for an ordinary seat and 400k for a VIP seat and you're doing those every, because I think they do like every other week, yeah, like every two weeks. At least that's what you're the saying. I think I think they'll be able to like pay these guys a fair wage. And you know how Uganda works. Once one guy has done it, and guys realize that it has popped up, there'll be at least three other leagues by the end of next year. Bro. <laughs> so you guys will have options. Uh, options. Man, I wish I'd do Chigochi Uganda because we need our own thing, man. Chigochi Uganda. Like a professional league. Okay, Chigochi Uganda. Do you know, 
But I it's used, Russia has slapped. Like, I'm a cast back to the area. But like, <laughs> this guy wants a league. Not in the grass. <laughs> not in that capacity. <laughs> that's, that's that's a, but if you think about it, Dave, Chico Chica can be part of MMA. It's mixed martial arts. It should be a guy. But they will whoop you, bro. It should be a guy with that his style. Oh, God. It's not like a vibe, bro. It's not like a vibe. Chico Chica is basically wrestling. But that guy will be whooped, bro. Because like, but Chico Chikana is about not falling down. Yeah, yeah he, won't, he won't like stick is to Chico like, Chikana. Yeah, he's just he's not to learn something. What because when his, his match ends, when the guy's shoulder touches the ground, that's <laughs> it. He'll start so celebrating. What, what are the rules of Julio? You <laughs> don't like they shouldn't put down your back. Julio. I, I think you're. Judo, eh? Hey, Which where one? They don't put down your back. Is What's it judo or judo? that actual oh. wrestling? Oh, no, wrestling, you have to wear pinny. You have to wear First chill, like a WWE. Of yeah, like, like wrestling. wrestling. Yeah, I think you have to pin for a number. I don't know. <laughs> no, but man, we don't think. But I think it's judo where like you're not allowed to put the guys back on the on the ground. On the ground. <laughs> that I've been seeing is not Ugandan, but there's um this Slap fight is called um I think they're called not Dan for Danube something, like something like that like Danube Danube fight or something like that. What do they do? The they basically like they fight in a ring, but they wrap up like one fist in like a bunch of bandages, bro. So it becomes like like a solid mass. For just punching guys, bro. so they just go to town on themselves until one guy like falls. Oh, down. Seen that. like it's like the slap competitions, but you no, 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 I've seen that one. Oh, la, 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 la. Seen, <laughs> guys, they don't be holding each other's arms, right? They yeah, the like, guys were tied hanging. together yeah. as if they're close. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, they tie no, they tie them. They tie them, they tie them together. <laughs> Those guys could be each other. Is that they be missing? <laughs> yeah, goes back. No, you know, guys, the guys, the guy pulls you. But you see, yeah, the, the thing yeah. about all these things is, I think. They are more or less the same, but different cultures, and that's where like the difference is. Because, mm-hmm. for example, you'll find say what this guy was saying: judo and sumo wrestling have the, they have almost very similar characteristics. But one is from Japan, the judo is from North Korea, some just like that. But I think that's it. So Chigo Chiganda is wrestling. Yeah, just hours. Like, like just, just said it ends when your back goes on the ground. It's wrestling, that's where it starts. <laughs> There's no ground game, man. No ground. <laughs> that's your jitsu, you guys. <laughs> no. No, no. Nah, it's more wrestling. It's more wrestling. You have to be no, big. No, you have to be big. You have to be like big. You have pride. to be big. It's, it's like... Your pride is in how big you are. Do you yeah. think... Do you think some wrestling has like lightweight, heavyweight? Yeah. Yeah, there's weight divisions, weight, I think. Weight, weight. You have to be big, though. But those guys <laughs> are fit, bro. Like, they are so fit. They are so fit and flexible, bro. Oh, yeah. Like, underneath all that fat, bro, is solid how muscle. How long do they live for? They literally, they live, they work out. I don't know how long, I can't speak for how long they live for, but they work out, like, every day. Yeah. Like, if you're a sumo, what do they call them a sumo? I don't know, they have a name for them. You work out every day, you eat more rice every day, and you just, like, do sumo. I've, like, I've, yeah, I've that's your life. pictures of them eating. That you big guys sit and you know their tables are, like, low. Mm. They're on the ground. And it's like, like this table, but bro, wrong with food, you guy. But guys actually, I would but say sumo guys might be living longer than more because it's not that dangerous, right? Mm. Like mm. their practice like or their lifestyle. Because like, like, I'm sure, like UFC guys, I don't think they have like health complications, like high blood pressure, like. Uh, no, they I don't. Think, no, those guys think, are healthy, think, bro. That's what I think. Like they're healthy, but that's I also think they have some. No, bro, those guys are so fit. You need to you need to do research on these guys. They're like super athletes. Send those me guys. stuff, bro. Send me things. They're bro. super athletes. But I wouldn't want to do sumo. Oh. Would you do What's the name of that WWE guy who died? Yeah, Umaga, there's only one it? guy on the box, but I don't bro. know if I can say right now. Nada. <laughs> we'll it Nada. I'm wishing it into existence. Anyway. Okay, sorry. Nada, nada, nada. Nada, nada, nada. Easier. Easier. I might never reach that. There's a guy here. No. He's not here. Not but here. But I don't mean, mean, you know, don't I don't mean, mean boxing. Not, I don't mean here in this room. I mean here in Uganda. Hey, but that's the reason I go to the gym now. The guy you want to be. Yes, but he's way better than I am. You, if you had to fight a guy in this room, who would it be? <laughs> if I had to fight, I would fight all of you. All of you. Uh, I don't give a shit. Um, I don't lie, bro. Me, I, I would, it, would, it would be no rules for me. <laughs> now my back's okay, by the way. I've been doing planks for minutes. That shit wouldn't matter, we'll bro. Send it back. I'd go for places. <laughs> I'd go for places. <laughs> the places that I had to be places where I'm like... You have no muscles, bro. <laughs> Please, you can't train. Here. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I go for that no strain, bro. <laughs> Gee, but I don't know if that will ever become a thing here, man. I remember Casper and uh, AK was supposed to fight He fought zero. two guys. Casper was fought two guys. Mm. What? Casper was actually fought. Two he has fought two guys. In I don't know what the bag is like. The bag, uh, the bag seems decent. The bag then, then do anything is... that guy if there's no bag. 
he doesn't do anything if there's no bag. So, but just, yeah, so the, the, the bag in combat sports stroke well mostly boxing. It's not little, bro. Ah, you guys, not. you remember those TikTok guys that were robbed of their money? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I can't. I think it was actually, actually yeah, yeah, you have to pay me up front. I think. <laughs> <laughs> like a bitch, minga, you um, paid me my money. There was a last year. There was a TikTok YouTube boxing event. It was literally called TikTok. TikTok was versus, versus YouTubers. Yeah. No one got was paid. Last year? Like three guys got paid. Yeah, it was last, was year. last year. Yeah. It, seems, it seems more recent, like did beginning it, of this did year. Did it make money? Oh, did it? It, it no, didn't make money. It was it hell money. Oh, like, no, it yeah, was last yeah. year, actually. Because I remember it was right after lockdown. Yes. It was last I remember year. it also flopped. Like, it when flopped. That's when I heard about it. Like, it sold about 50,000 tickets. Bro. That's, crazy. that's, that's only a flop in America, to be fair. Yeah, that's a flop. It's a heavy flop. But like, flop. it's a, even even here, if you had the expenses, and, that what, ma- and, and you had the names, they had that. Little like, baby came out. Was one of the fighters on YouTube side. They had yeah, DDG, what all those guys. Awesome. And it's like still everyone flopped. there was had high notoriety. Flop. No one got paid. Like only the UK. Now what happened is the UK YouTubers had the same manager who's like a shark. So he told them, "Us only come if you pay up front." So all the UK YouTubers got paid. <laughs> Always get your money up front. Ah. <laughs> you guys fought. They Shut beat up. them up. No money. Nah, can't be me, bro. Yo, you guys need to do a thing with the unpopular opinion girls. You might like them. <coughs> um, yeah, do I have anything else for you guys? I have nothing except Sanman. You guys seen Sanman? No, I haven't. Really I haven't good, seen bro. it. For you don't watch TV still. Really good, bro. Really. You can imagine what it's, what it's about, right? I yes, mean, I I've, oh, seen, I've a seen a crow. I I've don't know. Had, I've, I've, I've a crow. Like, the first, like, I think the first chapter of the comic, the first like issue. Oh, it's a comic. Yeah, yeah, it's yes, yeah there's it's a, a comic. Neil, Neil Gaiman. The guy who did um, American Gods. Yeah, and it shows. It shows because yeah. the writing is crazy, bro. Yeah, Same it's a really guy. good, really well done show. When I started it, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Something about the main actor was throwing me off. Kind of reminded me of like Charmed or... When I was <laughs> short. Man said jammed. Yeah, he jammed. <laughs> like he has a very like he looks like he's part of like Westlife or some shit in like 2003. The way his hair is, the way he dresses. He What's it called? Uh, he, looks like, he looks like he's in Green Day. Green Day. Yeah, he looks Green, like Day. He's in Green Day. But <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a very good show, man. Fire. It's one of those shows that just keeps getting better and better as you watch. But speaking of Green, Day, but Drake is really doing whatever he wants at this point, bro. He's like in what GTA. Do you like he's having all his childhood heroes on, on like stage, content, and that's yeah. mad. Yeah, but he's Drake. Oh, actually, forgot ah. to tell you guys. You know, Invincible season two is supposed to streaming this month. Uh huh. Oh damn! It's not, bro. Why? I have no idea. They must have gone. They must have done too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, you've not done too much. I'm like, yo, relax. <laughs> but it's supposed to <laughs> streaming this <laughs> month. <laughs> no, damn, I don't think crazy. they're ready. I don't think they're ready. If I if I had to to guess. How many episodes the last season, huh? Ten? Was it ten? Ten. Like give me like 50 episodes of Invincible, bro. Watch Man. It. Man, it's so good. But yeah. I just hope the quality doesn't go down because they're trying to rush it out. I, I, as far as I'm concerned, take as much time as you need, bro. As long as it comes Invincibles out Invincibles and The Boys. Those are like a two really dope shows. You right? know, I've failed really to not finish. finish. I've also yeah, I've also not yet finished this last Why? season. The Boys. Yeah. I, I think I'm lost. But I, I thought that was what. just me. too. I think I'm so lost, bro. I like they've... The plot has kind of it has kind of really the last episodes are elite, elite busted of this season. Yeah, I've only seen like octopus memes and I still don't know what they're about. Ah, but, yeah, I, but I can tell. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's I what I've seen, that, bro. bro. I hated that. I scene. think that writing wise, the boys might be the best one of those two right now. Maybe Invisible. the better one. Yeah. The best, better than Invisible. Yeah, yeah, be yeah. yeah. No way. The boys but anyway, three. but anyway, the boys is a longer show, right? It's like an hour. Man, no, so they have more no, but the invisible was just quite long. It's like what, 45 so, minutes? The have so much. You can do whatever show. you want. <laughs> yeah, it's like 45 minutes. It's like 45 what, minutes. Invincibles. Yeah. Invincible. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. quite long also. Yeah. But I've read both comics. You vote Invincibles, eh? Ah, okay, Invincibles is crazy, bro. You don't bro. even know what's coming, bro. Like <laughs> that, that thing is too crazy, bro. It's nah, too crazy. Season, that first season, that shock value in that first mm. episode. That's like a that's like a top ten and now, first and episode of it. The yeah. they, they have just scratched the, the invincible yeah. service. Like this they should showed you like two percent, bro. That that universe. Of that. Yeah, it's complete and finished, Jesus. bro. Bro, it's crazy. Now I read that one. What do you think about that Fire. Game of Thrones thing? Do you think it's gonna pop off? House of hey, Dragons. That's of course. That's your I, want you, I can't believe it. already. I want like, to watch it. It's like a month away now. Yeah, this it's soon, bro. It's like, like in a few days. A week. Yeah. Or something. See see how time flies. I remember the first time we spoke about it, we were like, man, that's yeah, so well, like, this thing is so ah, far. No, bro, yeah, bro. I saw like, uh, you know, those fan made edits. I, I hate them, but I saw one like years ago <laughs> when Game of Thrones was still on. That's mad that it's on now. Yeah. And it's crazy. Did you guys watch Mobius? 
Oh, yeah, I watched it. it. Mm. Morbin time. I haven't watched it. Did he say that? <laughs> but he... You <laughs> 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 might as well have. You might as well have. Morbin time. He <laughs> does it too bad. So that was his thing. And I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's Morbin time. I will be like, no, I'm trying to talk to you. Like, I went, I I went back. You know how Power Rangers is on Netflix, eh? I went back to watch that Mighty Morphin thing. <laughs> it's on Netflix. It yeah. is. Go, you get, go, I watched it and I was like, you get what were we seeing? Bro? What's the aspect ratio? One to one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in case of this guy, he like started pointing out all the bullshit that he sees in movies. He was telling me how he hates movies. Because mm. like he just sees all the flaws in them. I watched a movie this week. It's an Asian movie. What's the Asian movie on Netflix called? Which one? R- 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 a new mean. one. No, it's a, like an action movie. It's like Mr. X or some shit. Let me find it. I think it's this one. RRR. Is it Asian, uh, Indian, is it Asian, train? Asian, like the train? Asian, Chinese, no. Oh, Bullet Train. Bullet I enjoyed train. it. Bullet train. I haven't I watched it. it. Oh, no. Train. I usually like Brad Pitt in very serious situations. It's not serious at all. That's what I should tell you. <laughs> Brad Pitt. Ah, I can't remember what the movie is called, but just know that movie is short. Eh? Like, it looks like a stunt video. All the angles are, bro, it, <laughs> it's so uncomfortable to watch, bro. Like, it, it, it looks like a guy shot with, like, a selfie camera, bro. Is, have you watched, okay, yeah. I don't know that Asian movie, but I've watched Hardcore Henry. Have you watched Hardcore Henry? No. Mm-hmm. It's a movie that was shot in, like, first person. So the, it's an action movie. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's yes, yeah, I've seen, seen it. That's, that's I've seen it. But even Project X was kind of, like, first person. No, 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 no. no. This was, Project X was the first person. This one, the whole movie from beginning to end, is shot from the perspective of this guy, and you just see his hands and stuff. He has Damn. a wife. And, and they, looks, you know, they, they kidnap the wife. I've seen it. I actually... Hardcore Henry. It's like a sound. sick action I enjoyed that movie. movie. That, that movie was sick, bro. I, I watched it several times. What? How have you guys not watched Hardcore Henry? That sounds hard as hell, bro. Nah, hardcore. You can see his hands. It's hardcore. It's like the whole movie. Yeah. First person, bro. His perspective. But it's like a basic like action movie. Like they kidnap the guy's chick and he has to get her back. Something like that. Like his wife was killed. Something like that. So hey, first person so uncomfortable, bro. After it's a while, not. yeah. You, it kind of strains the eyes, but it was very sick, very sick concept. Have you guys noticed nowadays action movies they're using more shots? That's the movie. Yeah, they're using more shots. I need to find what this is. Mr. Uh, but I know Michael Beck, that Michael Bay movie where I had more drone shots. Uh, I'm watching movies again. There's so many drone shots in it, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and they basically got FPV drones. Drone but I don't know how they get clear footage like that. Like, how are they doing that? Bro, they're industry grade drones bro. that you can't find. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know, uh, yeah. I know Potato Jet. Oh, that kid. Yeah, that the kid. The kid. Uh, yeah, yeah, the kid. When those when guys are flying those drones, you realize, bro, it's like a sport, man. It's like a video game. Bro, FPV those guys get broken a so very much. expensive video game. <laughs> bro, those guys have like a helmet on. That's the coolest part. But it looks like yeah, yeah, it's like you in a game. It's called Kata. <laughs> Kata. Bro, you guys need to see this movie, man. <laughs> like Kata of Agent like Kata. C-A-R-T-E-R. Like Kata. Like Kata. That's an that's an Asian movie. Bro, you guys need to see this movie. <laughs> it's like a Red Bull commercial, bro. It's just go, 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 go from beginning to end. But it was, I haven't finished it, man. It was so uncomfortable to watch. You can throw up for motion sickness. Oh, but man, I feel like. But that was the, Henry. It gave guys motion sickness. Uh, by yeah. some people. I feel like there's. This so movie just is. This movie just mm-hmm. is hella saturated. Like, you have to make a really different movie now to stand out. Bro, That's I was watching. <laughs> on that point, I was watching uh, on this trailer recently for. Uh, Spider Man, Jurassic, Jurassic World Dominion. Oh, <laughs> god, <laughs> I watched it. That's the only Jurassic World I didn't like. And the thing about Chris Pratt it. is in like six major movies, all dropping in the next 12 months, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just, like that is saturation upon saturation. And he plays the same character, <laughs> the same ca- guy. Sh- guy. <laughs> I just watched uh, this new Jamie Foxx movie on Netflix. I was like, uh, uh, fire. Fr- What's it called? Um, it's Day Shift. I saw someone post a clip of it on socials and it looked sick, bro. It looked like there was some interesting they're action sequences. But getting weird reviews, bro. Mm, I think it's one of those movies that can split you. No, it's not a, it's not a serious movie. Yeah. But it doesn't seem like a cash grab either. But you can tell that this is like the easiest acting role Jamie Foxx has ever had. Because it's just so... How is he doing that well doing the Tyson? That's the right. thing. Like You can tell that this was just like a side gig. And he came in and it was quick, 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 quick. Some of the scenes are crazy, but like it's very, very simple. Like it's like a very simple movie. You need to watch it anyway. 
You'll you know what I mean after you watch it. I it's short too. I only watch like the slow movies now. Like I don't really watch action. I don't really watch any other stuff. Right now, which, 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 slow which, and which slow movies? Um, have you watched that movie? Uh, what the, the last one I told you the the black phone. The Ethan Hawke thing. No, um, where the kiddo is trapped. Kiddo. So there's, there's a like kiddo trapped basement. down in the basement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bro, it was crazy. Yeah, I liked like it. Thrillers. You like thrillers? I don't really like thrillers. <sighs> I uh, loved it. Yeah, I think the only like, I have to be engaged and like at all times when I'm watching the content. Uh, so that, that's why like the slow movies I can't. Uh, hey, but virtual effects are getting really good, bro. Like, ah, damn. When you guys watch Prey, I want you to watch, to see that DR scene. There's a DR scene. I saw a DR scene in the trailer. Yeah, you, I want you, I want to know what you think of those. I I watch I skip through Prey. I only just I just did this. But that's why you watch all your movies. You know, you can find Raymond watching a movie at eight a.m. Eight thirty is done. Remember, go watch his highlights on YouTube of the movie. Let's see. And they can watch it. It says it says arguing with gays. <laughs> about the movie, <laughs> argued, argued with me sometime about one of those Avengers movies, eh? and I was like, "But did you actually watch it?" He's like, like "I mean, I watched it." Ah. Man, <laughs> get, get watch the fight scene, all of them. He doesn't. He doesn't die. He doesn't fight scene to fight scene to fight scene. Okay, but that scene was that. Pray. I I don't watch a pray movies. I only watch a predator ones. Oh, is it the same? Like, yeah, yeah it's the same. That makes sense. I only watch, mm. I only watch I think, Predator. I think you'd like Prey. I think you'd like... I watch all the fights. Nice he'll, he'll watch it in 30 minutes, nice. bro. I watched the right <laughs> night 11. <laughs> 11 <laughs> and I skipped through that. It's already nice and slow in its own way. But like the... It's it's very thrillerish. Very thrillerish movie. Mm. Uh, do you guys want to watch that new Jordan Peele movie? Nope. That one. I don't think I'm going to like it, man. Unfortunately. Mm. I'll watch it. I'll, I'll, watch it. Watch it I'll definitely Tuesday. watch it. You're going to watch it on Tuesday. It's, 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 it's going to show in cinemas. I the think person it, invited me said Tuesday. I think yeah. it, I think it's Interest there who now. Invited, who invited you? I don't it's not, know. It's not just showing. At least I've not seen it hey, on the full government. Who invited you? That's ah, did you not feel invited? I changed himself for the premiere. Yo, guys, guys are bad. The trailer, the trailer didn't sell me that much for that movie, bro. But I was like, damn, I might not like his like a movie. Is his trailers? They leave more questions than give more questions than answers. No, but like you see, like. I like the trailer for Get Out. I like the trailer for what was yeah, the other one? But you us. Uh, us, I, yeah. I was so impressed. This one, I was. Ah, I'm not gonna like this movie, bro. Uh, I know, we'll see. Tell. We'll nah, see. We'll see. It's very hard for me to judge from trailers. No, do it. It's hard to judge from trailers. Usually, when I like the trailer, the movie sucks. If I don't like the trailer, the movie is kind of good. I can instantly tell if it's gonna be a good movie. Uh, in the trailer. Uh, no way. No way. No way. No way. No way. No. There's so many ah. whack movies with, with good, good trailers. trailers. Like what? Like okay, let me give like you an example. Story. Do you remember the first, um, what was it called? Batman versus Superman. Was that a good movie? BVS. Yes. I yeah. didn't enjoy BVS. Was that a good? Batman but do you remember that Superman. trailer dropped? You guy. That, that trailer was, was a that? fire. That? You should watch that movie again. BVS. I really didn't like it, and I watched it nah. twice. Okay, that, okay. Really? I, I won't lie. That movie wasn't great, but it wasn't like yeah. total crap either. But that trailer I mean, it's was Batman vs Superman. You can't be total crap. The trailer but it set us up for some crazy shit. Maybe bro. I went with movie expectations. Okay, again. you see, this is why this is why I will tell you that I can see a trailer and if I'm gonna like it or not. These trailers are made by trailer companies. True, right? Like they get the they give these guys the final render of the movie and then they give it to a company to make a trailer and it's like an art form. They also take weeks editing it, right? Now. The no. trailer company has to take the best parts of the movie that won't really tell you what the... Not all the I time. I disagree. I know. They work like that all the Everybody time. No. I disagree. Those trailer companies sometimes are just given like footage that work with this and make a trailer out of that because sometimes the movie is still in production but they need a trailer. Okay. Basically, I got this advice from a chick that works in a trailer. I, I saw it on YouTube, right? Mm -hmm. She was saying... She basically decided how a trailer is made. They give them how... They give them the full movie. They have to watch it a lot of times. Yeah, most of them right? are given the full movie. That's yes. true. They have to watch a lot of times and then they pick the best parts of the trailer. Oh, sorry, the movie. That won't really tell you what it's about. But most times, the best parts of the movie are in the trailer. The highlights, right? I can tell from how much these guys have used their highlights and how the story is put together. How much is in the movie. I still disagree. Okay. This I, is why. I, 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 bro, okay, your point. Nowadays, you trailer companies, it's, as you said, it's an art form. It's a form of marketing. How many movies have you seen nowadays that release one trailer? 
very few. Very few. Very few. So they are going to put some in the first one, some in the second, some in the third. Mm-hmm. And all of them will be different. All of them. Not totally That's what different. I'm saying. For you to judge the movie, at least from your point of view, says you know. First watch all of them. Because even Nope itself has three trailers now. They released the last one like last week or two weeks ago. And it gives you like a broader point of view of what the movie is going to Bro, be like. I think what, I think like an, this is this is what when they what do you mean? Uh okay, when it comes to the trailers, <laughs> it's not that the the, the movie is, is supposed to be finished. Like these guys are not supposed to be done with the editing of the movie to produce the trailer. Actually, the trailer can even come out when the movie is still in production. Moving. Yeah, it, it doesn't have to be done, but a lot of times it's done. Gee, some of these trailers cannot be made when the movie is still in. Like, Bro, but let me at least like the base, like the storyline of the movie. Let's say like the leave alone like maybe some minor editing things. But most of the movie is done but, by the time these guys get it. Maybe let me tell you why you can't go by the trailer, bro. You're saying that they pick out the best parts. That's maybe like the part which has like the most like visual effects going on, maybe like an explosion. But that doesn't really tell you if the movie is going to be good or not, man. They can just literally like make a highlight reel of all the, what are they called? The, 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 the big set pieces in the movie. And the, for me, my issue these days is like, you get these movie trailers drop. That vibe in the trailer is completely different from the vibe in the movie, bro. Like, the the trailer sets you up for so much. And I think it's because they're done by trailer companies. I don't know. Like, I feel like these days, actually, like, prefer watching trailers to movies, me personally, these days. For that same reason, like, sometimes I just find the trailer is so much better than the actual content that and was released. My other issue with these trailers, they're not all the same, bro. Like, they're all they, the same. They get they really it's one with trailer. It's one trailer. Build up. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's one yes. trailer. Most movies nowadays, I, I think I also saw, like, a dire- who was saying it? One of these directors, bro, most of these movies are unwatchable nowadays. Like, I cannot watch most of these movies, bro. I Same. saw this thing. I saw this, uh, this TikTok of where a guy said, he played a clip of someone saying, yo, man, everything sucks. All these movies are same. All that. And then the guy just showed a bunch of independent movies that are about the most random fly shit you get. Shit that no one has made a movie about. Let's share no that TikTok. Like, like stuff that you would never think of. Man. I think that I prefer now yeah. watching indie movies, but that black phone movie, the reason yeah, is an indie movie. Black indie phone? movies are. Is it not on Netflix? I don't mm, know. Uh, I don't black think Mirror. it is. No, I think it's one also. There's another. I don't know, there. but it's relative. Okay, I don't know if it, I can't say if it's 100% indie, but I don't know I, me 100% if it's indie, but it's, not made by it's like so. A, it was so low key. I just found it on like this. Uh, I don't know if I can say this site. Black phone was not low key. Though. Though. <laughs> 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 like, it was at the top. I was like, how about. And that's what that's what I gravitate to. I'm like, damn. There's oh, a movie no, that's, that's no, I've seen leading. That one. It's like a guy. Like, yeah. That, yeah, he looks like the Joker. There's a movie. Yeah, there's a movie that's that ranking that's above movie. Thor, above all these guys that but no one has said anything about. That's not that means it's like an underground. No way. What? That movie bro, was listen, so marketed, bro. That is a really? big movie. Ethan Hawke. <laughs> <That's a big laughs> it, movie. Movie. it was a big that movie. It was a big movie. It's so, bro. It's so random. You can never find it, but when you find it, it'll be the best. But I'll give you this. It is a big movie. That wasn't made much noise about. But it's also a good movie. You know whose score yeah. is better to go with? movies that they make noise about are Marvel movies, bro. Superhero movies. Guys, Superhero you know, movies. It's, you know like who's, the, it's like the trend right those now. Those are the guys who yeah. get hype right now. You know who's the best to go off of their opinion is people. People usually have good taste. Like People what? Like, <laughs> the community usually has good taste. Or like a suggestion from someone. Like, for example, if you see something at the top of like Pirate Bay, but it's relatively unheard of. Yeah, that means hella yeah, yeah. people are downloading it. it. Yeah. Mm, so it's like a sense. secret that this is a dope movie. That's how I judge. Very yeah, big. And then I go to the... I start from <laughs> that site. I start from a site. Help me bleep that out, please. I start from that site, and then I go and watch the trailer. And if the trailer isn't corny or the same, I, then I watch it. Mm. I, mean, I think that the movies with a smaller budgets just have to be more creative. Like those guys, mm. they write better. Like guys just have to do better. Man, no one will have to panda. the money to compensate. We don't have to panda as well. Yeah, I guess. And I know explosions. So you know, I know explosions, bro. Guys have bro. to pay attention to what you're doing. And the guys like just who need to be engaged, bro. So exactly. Hey, have you re- have you guys talked about the guy who can't be talked about <laughs> <laughs> on social media? There's a guy that you cannot have an opinion on. You just we shall bleep. Internet. We'll bleep it out. Who? The president. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, you tell us. Because <laughs> now we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it is not more sensitive than we think. Uh-huh. Right? Yeah, as we can talk about it. But what do you just say? Like, you just want to, a, a general opinion on him. We've given one, I think, before. Now, to be honest, I, I've been seeing him around on social media, but I don't know what's going on with this. Easy. I also don't know what he's doing. What does he do? Now, done? let's give magic a week. Let's hey. give you guys a week. Then then have to, <laughs> to familiarize yourselves <laughs> with. This okay. individual, I no, like, did, did, I, I definitely know that guy. I know the stuff he, he says. Just, but, like, did he do something? He's a very polarizing individual. He's every day is doing something. He does bro. some things, bro. Uh, uh, if that's the case, then I know those things. I just thought he had done something with recent things. Nah, it's just he's dividing the, the highly, web. Highly polarizing. Very, yeah, very polarizing. Everyone is kind of... Like, people have split. Apparently, now chicks are even unfollowing guys who follow him. Yeah, yeah. there's a trend, like, a month ago. Yeah. But go to all your followers and see who, who follows, follows All him. your male friends and see who follows him. Ah, boy. <laughs> There's worse guys that I follow. Let me just say that. Really? Yeah. Like who? There's like objectively bad people. <laughs> but like, I'm really trying to incriminate this guy. Like who? <laughs> yeah. There's objectively bad dudes that I follow. Like who do criminal things on a regular basis. <laughs> okay. This is his deal. You know his deal, I think. You know, you must. If you yeah, that, just feel me. Feel me. Okay. This is a dude that has basically taken over like social media. That in general, bro, yeah. But he's highly misogynistic, all this stuff. So, like, even just talking about him, you risk getting cancelled. Like, getting so for canceled. me, I just, I just choose. Imagine that, bro. At getting cancelled, yeah. Bro. It's like that's one of the biggest boys. Man, this world is really like black and white these days. There's no gray. You cannot be allowed to have a gray. You like now. There's guys like that who are heavily polarized this side. Then there is people on the other side that are heavy, like, ah. This is my question. Mad, bro. If we wrote a list of the guys who have actually gotten cancelled mm. and the guys who they've tried to cancel but have failed to, which, which list would be longer? Failed to. So we're going to talk about Andrew Tate next week. <laughs> <laughs> Come ready. <laughs> Get your we'll say Andrew Tate segment <laughs> next week. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, man, I feel like that is, that's all we have time for today. We've done, like... Bro, you, bomb keep, shame, you know you need to keep coming, man. You need ah, to keep pause. coming, honestly. Pause. Yeah, heavy pause. <laughs> that's, that's a mean statement. That's our statement. Uh, you, need to, you need to be, keep being our guest, bro, because you make us talk. Um, yeah, do you guys have anything else? Any untouched uh, topics? Cristiano, what up? You came in at the end of our nanny, man. Yeah, Speaking but, of Cristiano, uh, how are you doing, Melvin? Ah. Oh, damn. <laughs> okay. I hear you guys ah, okay. are poised to be over. What are the predictions are about 14? There's no way, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Eh? The last time that we started like this, we won the title. So <laughs> just know that. <laughs> just know that. Did but you see Elon Musk's tweet? I saw it. But uh-huh. he, do you know what I'm noticing about that tweet? His guys really get excited by funny shit. Oh, Elon Musk is Immediately capping. below that tweet, the guy said, someone asked him, Yo, are you serious? And the guy said, No, this is just a long standing. Twitter joke. Twitter joke. And yeah. then he tweeted over one of my side hustles should be stand up. So How I'm much just money like, right. does do people lose off of their hype for Elon? Because someone's going to see him saying that. And money buy, stock buy is going to go stock. up. <laughs> <laughs> he says I'm joking and goes back down. That, the thing about him is like the chances of you losing money are less than the chances of you like gaining. Because dumb, like, yeah. dumb shit like that will actually make you money, bro. But you just have to time it correctly. Like, you have to be the first guy. <laughs> you have to have who has seen that tweet. You have <laughs> no, to no, it he, he has to tell you I'm about to tweet some <laughs> jazz, bro. You have to have his tweet set. And that is the one. He has to notify you, bro. Like, in fact, actually, as soon as Elon Musk tweets about something, you have to have a software that will buy into that thing that he has tweeted about. <laughs> a bot. But like before, before he even. Because I gave this tweet. Run, run of jazz, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, okay, boys. Nah. Then on that bombshell. Yeah, really good um, pod. Guys, that's been a great one. Mm-hmm. Thanks for coming, Raymond. Guys, again, make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe, Bizzle, to this Nizzle. Let's do that again. What the hell? <laughs> 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 subscribe, Bizzle, <laughs> to my channel, Chanizzle. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, man. Peace.